I decree and declare that every request that has been here written as an act of your faith in the name of Jesus, the resurrected King, I declare, let it return to you as testimonies. Let it return to you as testimonies. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it return to you as testimonies. Everyone here appointed unto death, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, by reason of this prayer, we avert death from your life. We avert death from your family, in the name of Jesus. And prophetically, I stand upon this request, and I declare, in the name of Jesus, these Egyptians you see today, you will see them no more forever. You will see them no more forever. You will see them no more forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please stand on your feet and be ready to shout a believing amen. The blessing is conferred upon people by saying, the Bible says, and he blessed them and said, Listen, I've told you that the blessing is a dimension of the operation of the Holy Spirit. It comes upon your life alongside every kind of spiritual impartation. They answer to words and they answer to faith. Words mixed with faith. Hallelujah. A few scriptures and I will speak over your life. Please, I want you to receive it. I want you to believe it. Hallelujah. Deuteronomy 30 and verse 9. Media, let's walk together very quickly. Deuteronomy 30 and verse 9. And the Lord thy God will make thee plenteous in every work of thine hand. In the fruit of thy body. In the fruit of thy cattle. And in the fruit of thy land. It says for the Lord again will rejoice over thee for good. In the name of Jesus. Therefore I prophesy. Let plenty locate you. Ah someone is receiving let plenty locate you in this season i drive scarcity from you let the covenant of plenty find expression in your life in the name of jesus christ deuteronomy 7 15 7 15 deuteronomy 7 15 the lord will take away from thee all sickness and will put none of the evil diseases of Egypt which thou knowest upon thee and will lay them upon them that hate thee therefore I decree and declare in the name of Jesus for you and for your loved ones I declare be free from sickness and infirmity Isaiah 54 17 Isaiah 54 17 no weapon that is formed against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall rise against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn therefore i decree and declare no matter how that weapon comes in the name of jesus it will not find expression in your life isaiah 58 11 58 11 isaiah it says the lord shall guide thee continually is someone shouting a loud amen? amen? Every confusion, every misdirection in your life, going to the wrong places and finding out you are just wasting time. Find accuracy of direction now. Amen. Let's finish the scripture. And satisfy your soul in famine. Amen. And make fat your bones. Amen. That thou shalt be like a, well, a watered garden like a spring of waters whose waters fail not i prophesy supplies to your life in the name of jesus christ psalm 86 and verse 17 give us an amplified please psalm 86 and verse 17 86 17 he said show me a sign of your evident goodwill and favor that those who hate me may sit and be put to shame listen he said because you lord will show your approval of me when you help and comfort me he says show me a sign the sign that god needs to show in your life 
to bring to an end the shame and the mockery. May God show that sign this week. May God show that sign this week. May my God show that sign this week. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen. They looked at Elisha. And they were wondering, could this be the person to succeed Elisha? He did not look like it. But when a sign came upon him, the Bible says he turned, the sign was to part Jordan. And when he said, where is the Lord God of Elijah? And Jordan parted hither and thither. The prophet saw and they said, truly, the spirit of Elijah doth rest upon Elijah. I don't know what sign God needs to show in your life to let everyone know that finally favor has landed. To let everyone know that finally speed has landed. But I say again, this week, may God show that sign. This week, may my God show that sign in the name of Jesus Christ. Psalm Isaiah 43 and verse 4. 43, 4. Isaiah 43 and verse 4. 43 and verse 4. Do we have that projected? It says, since thou was precious in my sight... Thou hast been honorable and I have loved thee. Therefore will I give men for thee and people for your life. Listen, do you know what this means? Listen to my message, the gift of men. You are as wealthy as the men God bring in your life. You are not just as wealthy as the things. When you have things, you are limited. Things cannot love you. Things cannot be there for you. When God really wants to help a man, he gives that man men. May God bring quality men to show up in your life. In the name of Jesus. Finally, Numbers chapter 6 from verse 24. Numbers 26, 24. The Lord bless thee. Ah, you didn't hear that. The Lord bless thee. The Lord bless thee. The Lord keep thee. Listen, do you know what it means for God to keep? You have to make reference to John 17 and verse 1. He says, he came to him and he said, glorify now thy son, that thy son may bring glory to you. When you read down to verse 6, it says, all that you have given me, I have kept and none is lost except the son of perdition. He says, look for it, I see it's somewhere there, John 17. All that you have given me, I have kept, he says, and none is lost except the son of perdition. And that's that the scripture might be fulfilled. He said, but, but I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded that he is able to keep that which is committed unto him against that day. So when he says the Lord keep you, it means that you are engraved in the palm of his hands, beyond the reach of curses, beyond the reach of all kinds of demonic things. Now that you understand, let me say it again. The Lord keep you. The Lord keep you. 25. The Lord make his face to shine upon you. Listen, do you know what this means? Every time you hear the face of God shining upon a man, that is favor. You find that in the life of Moses. You find that in Psalm 44 and verse 3. Give it to us very quickly. For they got not the land in possession by their own sword. Neither did their own arm save them. But thy right hand and thy arm and the light of thy countenance. That is how they became possessors. So when he says, may he make his face shine upon you, it's another way of saying, may you be covered completely with the favor of God. I pray for you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. 26. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you. The last blessing right here. Is something money cannot buy. Hear me. The last blessing right here. Is something education cannot buy. The last blessing right here. Is something your intellectual pedigree cannot buy. The Bible says. And give thee. It's a gift. If you are not given. You cannot have it. And give thee peace. Listen. I've told you. 
my highest definition of success is not progress is peace no matter what else you have in your life if it is at the expense of your peace it was not worth it no wonder jesus himself is called the prince of peace he says peace i give you my peace i live with you not as the world gives there is a kind of peace that he gives you that surpasses all understanding I'm praying for you in this troubled world, in the midst of the turbulence that is depressing people, saddled with fear, saddled with all kinds of, um, all kinds of things. May the peace of God be given to you this night. May the peace of God be given to you this night. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, where you have been crawling, I place an anointing upon you. Begin to fly like the eagles. Begin to fly like the eagles. Hear me. Whatever has covered your glory, covered your visibility, so that those who need you and have what it takes to honor God in your life cannot find you. In the name of Jesus, I tear off that veil now. I tear off that veil now. Find visibility. Find visibility. Find visibility. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Why have you been here 38 years? I have no man to help me. Not that the water cannot be reached. I have no man. Where is somebody who is in need of one man? one man who becomes a helper to say what is your issue or oh, a job see me tomorrow where is the one man who is saying what is your issue or oh, a visa come and see me next week i pray for you the one man sent by god to be a destiny helper to your life in this season wherever they are i gravitate them towards your destiny <laughs> hallelujah three more prayer points everything that has died in your life chiefest among them your prayer life and your passion for God perhaps you came here and it looks like everything God is dying or has died in your life because you see when prayer dies your passion for God dies your passion for the word dies eventually every other thing begins to die that is the central point of victory in your life your relationship with Jesus enhanced by your prayer enhanced by your word study enhanced by your passion for the house of god your submission to doctrine and learning let me pray for you tonight jesus is called the resurrection and the life everything dead everything dying in the name of jesus i use the words of jesus talitha kumi it, although it was for a little girl but i pray for every situation that has died let it come back to life now let it come back to life now. Let it come back to life now. Dead prayer life come forth. Dead word study life come forth. Dead passion for the things of God come forth. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Can I pray for your finances? Will it mean anything to you if you experience a higher level of the blessing of the Lord on that wise? You need money let me tell you period it's as simple as that there is no other way around it money is not everything but as far as the matters of economy is concerned you will be surprised how crippled your life will be are we together now the person who is sick cannot reach the hospital but the person who is poor everything you need is around you but the wherewithal to make it yours that is even more disastrous if you bring something for a sick person to eat, the person may not have the energy. So it's not an issue of, is that the appetite is not there. But a poor man will pass every shop available, everything available, but the means to connect it to your destiny is not there. And remember, when we talk about finances, I will emphasize again that this is not some mundane, carnal quest for materialism. But let me tell you, I'm a responsible man of God and I believe in responsible Christianity that administers to you the whole counsel of God. Anyone who tells you to downplay the relevance of finances is joking first with himself and then you. Are we together? 
the name of Jesus Christ is very heavy. It takes financial resources to take it high enough for the nations to see. The needs that surround your life, most of us here, if we were to read your prayer request, over 70 to 80% of them will largely be dependent on finances. Finance is very important because it can solve so many things. Cannot give you peace, but it can enhance the atmosphere that gives you peace. Let me tell you, one of the reasons, one of the ways you become a peacemaker on earth is to have the means to give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar and give to God what... Be if you are owing Caesar, doesn't matter your relationship with God. As far as Caesar is concerned, the tribute collectors will come to disgrace you. When Jesus was ministering, they came and said, you claim to be a man teaching righteousness, yet you are owing the law. So you must know how to give to Caesar what belongs. Jesus acknowledged that there are some things that belong to Caesar. I want to pray for you. The kind of Christian experience where you love Jesus Christ, but then you are being incapacitated economically. I've told you that many people, because of this economic backwardness, it can tilt you towards the corridors of compromise. God can bless you, so bless you, eh, that you solve your financial problems. It does not become a concern again. Your concern now becomes building destiny and the purposes of God. Thinking about money day and night is idolatry. It's a curse. It was never supposed to be that way. There is nobody, an intelligent God will not design a human being to be obsessed and thinking about money because what you think about, that worry, is a kind of worship. Are we together? It says, let the words of my mouth and the meditations of my heart be acceptable. Many believers love the Lord, but this finance thing, especially within the, you know, you do not want to compromise your faith, but then it must finance, listen, until you know how to force finance to answer. Especially co-laborers, those who are in ministry here, listen to me. In all you're getting, trust God for grace to sort this money thing once and for all. This is not an issue of pride. This is, this is until that is solved, I guarantee you, there is a, a, man, a kind of concentration you will never have as far as destiny is concerned. Are we together? The absence of finance is one of the biggest sponsors of compromise, even in our world today. Many people who love the Lord are forced to bend over and compromise. Give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar. Let me pray for you. In the name of Jesus. It says, having obtained help from the Lord, I continue to this day. I pray for someone. The dimension of wealth you have not seen. I call upon my God, the God of Jeshurun, the one who rides upon the wings of the wind. May my God surprise you. 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 Open up strange financial gates for you. Connect you to strategic helpers. Give you wisdom to manage and multiply your resources in the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. And your acquisition of financial resources would not be at the expense of your relationship with Jesus. The wealthier you are, the more passionate you will be about the things of God. With it, you will be a blessing to many. With it, you will be a blessing to yourself. Listen. I'm not praying for you for money to just buy tea and bread. You don't need my prayer for that to happen. Just be valuable. I'm praying for you to become a trustee. A trustee of the wealth of the kingdom. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Thou hast caused men to ride upon our heads. We walk through water and through fire. And thou broughtest us into a wealthy place. A man can be helped by God. May that be your portion. Amen. Now, finally, you have honored me. You have prayed for me. I have, I understand there are many prayer groups that have prayed, prayed and fasted for days. Just lifting me before the Lord. Whatever gift you give me, is there's, there's only so much I can do. But that prayer you have prayed for me. I just want to speak one prayer from my heart. One prayer from my heart. And you care to receive it. I want to, pr I'm going to pray for you. No, no, you don't have to kneel. Please stand. But it is from the depth of my heart. Every man has a covenant with God. 
there are secrets that make for the rising of men. There are things God is always telling us in every season. And when he sends a word to Jacob, he lights it upon Israel. I truly want to pray that one prayer. With that, we'll wrap up the service. But I want you to receive it. If this is the only reason why you have come here tonight, your coming will be worth it if you do receive this. Hallelujah. Can I pray that prayer for you? Father, there is a grace called favor. You have helped me. You have made me to become an, an expression of your favor. That it is true. You can pick a man and place that grace upon him. My Bible says, and Jesus increased in wisdom, stature, favor with God and with men. You have helped me. In the name of Jesus, from the abundance of that which God has given, I stretch my hands on this day to as many who will care to receive from tonight. Carry that grace evidently. <laughs> Carry that grace evidently. 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 Number two. God can empower you to walk signs and wonders. But he can make you a sign and a wonder. He says, I and the children that the Lord has given me. He didn't say we will produce. He said we are. That your life becomes a living epistle. I'm praying for you. The grace that makes ordinary men to become global phenomenons. The, 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 the grace that can make an ordinary man to become a sign and a wonder. Wherever you are, I impart that grace upon you. I impart that grace upon you. Let the nations hear your voice. Let the nations see the hand of God upon your life. I impart that grace upon you. Carry that grace evidently. In the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, I want to release that grace for honor. You see, it takes honor for a generation to listen to you. It takes blessed the moment doors open that is not the time for your prayer life to go down that is not the time of laxity do not get caught up with the delicacy of the palace that you forget to pray let me tell you how to command deliverance esther is in a dilemma right now because she needs to meet king ahasuerus and the ethics of kings those days were that if you if you stepped into the king's inner chamber without his invitation and he did not leave the golden censer you were dead immediately and he said mordecai i will go if i perish i perish but now is the time to engage all of us will be on prayer even with fasting we know what prayer can do i will go to meet the king and she stepped in to meet the king and the king said come he lifted the golden censer and that became the beginning of the process that would later become the destruction of Mordecai of Haman the lifting of Mordecai and the salvation of God's people prayer is powerful can I tell you don't fold your arms and act like nothing is happening when darkness seems to loom around your life there are seasons in your life where you need dedicated time. You should be prayerful all the time. But let me tell you, there are moments in life and destiny, Kairos moments. I have taught you this. When seasons are about to change, there are many things that start happening to you. One is an unusual desire to give. Number two is an unusual desire to pray. These are indices that show you that you are finishing a season and you are entering a new one. When Jesus was about to go to the cross, from the communion table, he went straight to Gethsemane. And the Bible says he prayed, repeating the same words. Drew strength from there. And he says, I'm ready. Judas came with all the people and came and kissed him. And he was able to build the stamina to survive until he gave up his life on the cross. Can I tell you, if you turn aside in the day of battle, the spiritual diagnosis is that your strength is small. Not because victory is not possible. You need capacity in the spirit. I pray that God will raise CEOs that pray. I pray that God will raise preachers that pray. 
pray for me pray for me is the plague of weak people yes there is a place for intercession but let me tell you everybody who is rising must master the mysteries of the altar you must know how to hold on to the horns of the altar until you command perpetual victory there are certain burdens of leadership that come upon you if you do not know how to flog out the destinies of people in the place of prayer you will raise a weak and a defeated people prayer is powerful you lock up yourself what is happening in this ministry it looks like doors of favor is closing it looks like all kinds of things we discern the signature of darkness father we call upon you you are the deliverer as a family you find out that you're rising you're excelling god is distinguishing you among your your other people within the bloodline perhaps and it looks like it's coming with corresponding consequences. Now you have intelligence to know that it is nothing unusual. It is part of the battles that come with growth. It is the implication of open doors. There are giants on every mountain. Don't desire the mountain without holding the tools to fight the giant. Be like Caleb. He said, let us go up at once. We are well able. Hallelujah. You must know that deliverance comes in response to prayer i can tell you you can pray negative seasons out of your life you can pray unfavorable seasons out of your life there are times you take god seriously and take your destiny seriously and engage in the place of prayer until your light breaks are we together prayer does many things it supplies the fire that exposes evil there are times you are even confused you do not even know what is happening prayer in partnership with the word is what begins to filter the happenings beyond the realm of the sight to dig deep into the spirit and know what is really happening because you see judging by the flesh you are going to misjudge so many things prayer filters your perceptions until that which is true is what stands there was a viper hiding in the midst of the wood but for as long as there was no fire, the viper was comfortable. The moment the wood was lit, the viper was exposed. People of God, the greater you rise, let any other thing, you can outsource any other thing, but not your prayer life. Outsource those who come to wash your cars. Outsource those who come to clean your house because you are busy outsource a secretary outsource any other person but in addition to the people who intercede for you you must independently understand that there is something about heaven's response to your voice to your voice to your voice to your voice there is no end time ministry that will stand without a proper consistent ever growing investment in the place of prayer there is no business that will stand i told you this you cannot be the same person leading the field expanding in your business and you believe that satan will fold his arms have you forgotten in the bible where a few people bound themselves with fasting and said they will not eat until paul died men can go that far for your downfall just because you are not wicked does not mean other people are not wicked not all men have faith ladies and gentlemen someone can sit down and say we see the children in this family rising let's see who else rises the little work that i've done for the lord in the ministry has shown me many possibilities that i probably would not have believed existed as far as the administration of evil through the hearts of men is concerned ladies and gentlemen please make sure you are people who understand the dynamics of the altar my goal is to help you and support you with knowledge and to guide you but you must pray you must pray you must pray we live in times where you must understand the place of prayer don't say i am weak start from where you are number three deliverance from god is based on a response to praise deliverance from god is based on number one a cry for mercy 
Number two is based on heartfelt prayer. Number three, deliverance from God to the saints is based on a response to praise. Psalm 18, verse 1 to 3. Psalm 18, verse 1 to 3. I will love thee, O Lord, my strength. Verse 2. It says, the Lord is my rock and my fortress. He calls him my deliverer, my God, my strength, in whom I will trust, my buckler, the horn of my salvation and my high tower. Let's read verse 3 together. Ready? One to read. I will call upon the Lord, it says, who is worthy to be praised. By that formula, hold on. By that formula of calling upon the Lord and adding it with praise, shall I be saved from my enemy? He was revealing a formula that I will call upon the Lord who is deserving of praise. So, by prayer and praise, shall I be saved from my enemy? If you are Paul and Silas and you find yourself in the prison, it is prayer and praise. Exodus chapter 15. Verse 1. Please give it to us. Let's hurry up. They sang Moses and the children of Israel. Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord. Watch the song that they sang. This was after deliverance. Watch this now. They had just been delivered from the Red Sea. I will sing unto the Lord, it says. For he had triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider has been thrown into the sea. Verse 2. It says, the Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. He is my God. I will prepare him a habitation. My father's God. And I will exalt him. Verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. These are people singing. Singing the presence of God. Verse 4. We are reading to 11. He said, Pharaoh's chariots and his hosts had he cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are drowned in the sea. Verse 5. The depths have covered them. They sank into the bottom of a stone. 6. Thy right hand, O God, is become glorious in power. I hope you know this is a song. Thy right hand, O God, had dashed in pieces the enemy. And in the greatness of thy excellency hast thou overthrown them that rose up against thee. Thou settest forth thy wrath which consumed them as stubble. 8. And with the blast of thy nostrils the waters were gathered together. The flood stood up right in a heap and the depths were congealed in the heart of the sea. 9. The enemy said, I will pursue, I will overtake, I will divide the spoil. My loss shall be satisfied upon them. I will draw my sword, my hand shall destroy them. Verse 10. It says, thou didst blow with thy wind. The sea covered them. They sank as leads in the mighty waters. Who is like unto thee, O God, among the gods? Who is like thee, glorious in holiness? Read the remaining part. Fearful in praises. As a result, doing wonders. God is fearful in praises. And the moment he arises as that warrior, the next thing you see are his wonders. Who is like unto thee, O God, among the gods? It says, glorious in holiness, fearful in praises. Listen carefully. Ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you by the power of the Holy Spirit, and I can tell you from the integrity of scripture and experience, praise is a deep mystery that is able to overturn possibilities and Grant the be insist that the believer stands at the point of victory. These are the forces of the spirit that help and guide men. Now let's finish the scripture that we left up in Acts chapter 16. We read down to 24. Now let's start 25. At this point, Paul and Silas are in prison. Then the Bible says at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed. Is that in your Bible? And they sang praises unto God. It was so loud the prisoners heard them. Watch the God of heaven now. Suddenly, Shibaka so prandiki payata. Ah, this is someone's testimony. Suddenly, it says there was a great earthquake. 
so that the foundations of the prison were shaken and immediately all doors were open and everyone's bands were loosed. Read on. 27. And the keeper of the prison awaking out of his sleep and seeing the prison doors open, he drew his sword and would have killed himself supposing that the prisoners had fled. 28. But Paul cried with a loud voice saying, Do thyself no harm. We are all here. 29. Then he called for a light and sprang in and came trembling and fell down before Paul and Silas. Here it is. He brought them out and said, Silas, what must I do to be saved? Anything can turn for your salvation. When you know how to engage the mercy of God, you know how to engage prayer and you know how to engage praise. 31. He says, they said unto him, believe on the Lord Jesus and thou shalt be saved and thy house. And they spake unto him the word of the Lord and to all that were in his house. Reading to 34. And he took them the same hour of the night and washed their stripes. This was the jailer. And was baptized and he and all his straight away. The last verse. And when he had brought them into his house, he said meat before them and rejoiced believing in God with all his house. For we know that all things work together, not for everybody, to them that love the Lord and to those who are the called according to his purposes. So Jesus is teaching the disciples prophetically, not just theologically. He's teaching them because their lives and their faith adventures will be plagued with many, many challenges that come with open doors. And he said in your prayer, the moment daily bread begins to come, the moment doors and dimensions, both in the spirit and in life, start getting opened, you must master the art of mercy. You must master prayer. You must master praise. These mysteries you must use to surround yourself with like chariots, perpetually. You are one who walks in consciousness of God's mercy. You are one who walks in consciousness of the ministry of prayer. That you can lock your office as a CEO and dedicate 30 minutes and you are praying. And there is a board meeting that is coming with all kinds of people coming from across the globe. You will think all that you will need is brain work. Some of the people coming for that meetings are coming with their charms and mediums like Rachel. Remember when Rachel was leaving the house of Laban? She took the gods of her fathers with her. Just because you see people wearing suit or dressing nice. They, all their gods, they, their fraternities with dark powers, negotiating the destinies of men upon the table of greatness. You cannot go there being casual. Hear me. Many of you, God wants to lift you. You are trusting God to become a kingdom financier. Have you heard about the king of Tyre? The one who sits upon the mountain of commerce of the earth. You cannot come and transact business except you sell your soul. He did that to Jesus. There is a level of wealth you cannot attain unto just by buying and selling. Believe me, if you are in this kingdom, the person speaking to you is not in ignorance. By the grace of God, I know a bit about finances. I can tell you, there are certain heights in the spirit. It is not buying and selling that takes you there. There is a covenant transaction between men and spirits. Do you believe that? <laughs> Please believe. Oh. If you suddenly return a billionaire tomorrow, people will not say, what did you do? They will say, where did you go to? This kind of result is not about what you have done again where you you must have gone somewhere and they are right a man goes to bed and sleeps in the night and has a dream in that dream he receives an impartation of an understanding heart and then he's also given access to wealth like no other person and then he wakes up and his fame spreads abroad resources start coming remember it will come through men but it is still controlled from the realm of the spirit when job lost everything that he had job lost everything 
but he did not lose his relationship with God and his ability to sustain, to capture the mysteries of the spirit. In Job chapter 42 and verse 10, the Bible says God turned the captivity of Job when he prayed for his friends. And the Bible says the Lord gave Job twice as much as he had. I'm interested in knowing how that twice came. The Bible is not silent about it. 11, it tells us what happened. That there came unto him all his brethren and all his sisters and all they that had been of his acquaintance before. It meant something drove them away from him. Now they came and did eat bread with him and in his house. And they bemoaned him and comforted him over the evil that the Lord had brought upon him. Here's the secret. And every man gave him a piece of money and an earring of gold. All blessings come from God through man to man. That's how he got twice everything he lost. Abraham who was broke. How did God prosper him? He went to Egypt. And then Abimelech was going to take his wife. And God warned him and said, if you touch that man's wife, you are already dead. And Abimelech said, sorry, I will not only leave your wife, I will give you gold and all kinds of things. And he left with it. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, your possibilities in this kingdom are based on the mysteries that you know and you can handle in the spirit. Dominion and stature is, is possible when you stand upon this mystery. These things are not cunningly devised fables. They are the mysteries that men transact with in the spirit and it produces the possibilities that we enjoy in the earth realm. Hallelujah. Jesus said, deliver us from evil. The doors of persecution will open as the doors of increase come to. The doors of witchcraft, manipulation and attacks will come. A day will come where you don't need to ask if anybody has taken your name to a shrine. What you will be asking is how many? Not has it gone there? There is a level in the spirit where while you are calling upon the name of the Lord, there are people who will be praying perpetually. There are realms where Satan does not want you to backslide. He wants you to die. Because even in your backsliding state, you are still dangerous. He wants you to die. Are we together now? Ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. What you have learned and you are learning are irrefutable secrets of the kingdom that guarantee your rising. But if I did not teach you what you learned today, many of you will be surprised that God will call you, Dear Mary, thou favored one. And the next thing, here comes the scribes and the Pharisees asking you questions and saying, This vision that came without the assistance of a man, you need to explain it. How did that pregnancy happen without the natural process of conception? They will say, How did you become a millionaire without cutting corners? Are you sure? Are you really sure? The Bible says in Ephesians chapter 3, from verse 10 and 11 to the intent, he says, that now unto principalities and powers in heavenly places. All of the things, when you read from 3, Ephesians 3 and verse 3, Paul began to speak how that by revelation it was made known unto him the mystery as he wrote in few words. Verse 4, reading to 5, he says, Whereby when ye read, ye may understand my knowledge in the mystery of Christ, which in ages past, he says, were not known to the sons of men, but had now be revealed to his holy apostles and prophets even by the Spirit. Go to verse 9. He now says that this grace was given to him to make all men and see what is the fellowship of the mystery which from the beginning of the world had been hid in God who created all things in Christ to the intent now verse 8 that is why God grants access to revelations so that unto principalities and powers in heavenly places might be made known by the church the manifold wisdom of God the manifold wisdom of God Give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day access to the doors of destiny that needs to be opened. Give us this day access to superior levels of influence 
across the cosmos. Give us this day access to levels of the anointing superior end time mantles. But Lord, as you grant us access to this day, we pray that you lead us not into temptation. And then please help them. Deliver, he says, deliver us from the evil that comes with growth. Deliver us from the evil that comes with speed. Deliver us. Elijah, you have been sent as a Tishbite to speak over Israel. But beware, your rising is also the rising of Jezebel. She will look for you. The battle was over two people. I have the king in partnership with that she goddess encapsulated in a woman called Jezebel. Jezebel was not a woman. She was a spiritual system of rebellion. It's an extension of the antichrist system. That is why it's a spirit that only tries when it is connected to government. That's why she stayed with Ahab. The same spirit manifested through Herodias when Herod came because John the Baptist now resurfaced in the spirit of Elijah. Listen to me. If you are Elijah, Expect Jezebel. She's watching you. Don't you think you would just stand and prophesy? The prophets of Baal are the easy part of the deal. But that she goddess is vicious. Elijah ran away from her. A man that called fire to consume others. Are we together? I told you. With the arrival of mantles. Destinies. There are many, many, many attacks. Ah, I just said mantles and I just saw fire. This is what I saw in the spirit. As I said mantles, I just saw fire. Mantles, 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 mantles. Because there are doors that God is opening. Ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. There are dimensions that have not yet been made access, accessible to anyone in your family. Now you are coming from behind like Joseph. Not the first, but the chosen. Not the first, but the chosen. And those doors are about, you have mastered the art of saying Ephata for the doors to open. You have to understand how to now hold the sword. Because let me tell you the truth. Warriors do not just speak. Warriors fight. Warriors do not just speak. They fight. They are men and women who must know how to hold the sword of the spirit. And fight with valiance. You can't turn back. Your turning back will be the destruction of a generation. It's a sin then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. Let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us. And it says to run with perseverance. There is no going back. Not for the warrior. You master the art of using the sword. And you fight with valiance. Say blow the trumpet in Zion. Sound the alarm upon my holy mountain. And he begins to describe a people so vicious. He said before them is as a garden of Eden. Behind them a desolate wilderness. These are men that can fight. I have fought a good fight he says. Hear me. Whether you are in ministry or you are in business. Provided doors are open. Don't just wear suit. Carry the armory of a warrior as you enter through those doors. A time will come you will need to remove a CEO regalia and put on the garment of a warrior. There are giants on every mountain. Be like Caleb. Stand tall. Oh David, do not let Goliath scare you. You can take him down, not by the sling, but by the covenant that you stand upon. He said, you come to me with your bows and your spears, but I come to you in the name of the Lord God of the armies of Israel, in whom you have defiled. Listen, we're about to pray, but ladies and gentlemen, please hear me. The prayer deliver us from evil. 
some of you the doors that are opening right now you came to church with questions about the happenings in your life what is suddenly happening to my health the moment they made me a ceo they said i have high blood pressure where is it coming from welcome as you encounter the giants that sit on those mountains it is not for you to start discussing warriors don't discuss they fight take up your arsenals the work God has given you will not just keep rising like that and then the devil folds his arms he will come as many things Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I remember years ago, there was a gentleman who was going to get an appointment. I think he was in, in an oil and gas company. This guy had labored and worked hard. Everybody in the family had struggled financially and in destiny. They were sincere people. And then this guy kept engaging this mistress. Finally, a job that was going to come and open a door to wipe the tears of people. Do you know what happened? This guy slept and suddenly started having all kinds of funny dreams. This was according to him. And then they would, they, he was supposed to bring a report of medicals. And there were specific hospitals they were to go to. From nowhere, this guy was diagnosed with something that was going to make him lose that job. I remember very clearly. He reached me and said, I've never been like this. I, this, this was my genotype. This is my blood group. This is this. Where did this one come from? And I told him, I said, my friend, let me tell you, if you are interested in that job, you need to know that Satan has determined a threat that in your rising is the rising of many. Instead of fighting everybody, he should fight you. Hear me. Listen to me, ladies and gentlemen. There are men that are equal to nations. Instead of Satan fighting nations, he will focus on fighting them. If he can fight the mantle upon your life, that will be equivalent to fighting a million people across the globe. If he can fight your ministry, it is cheaper than fighting all who will rise from you. If he can fight your business, he is by extension fighting all those who look up to you for direction and inspiration. It's time to fight the fight of faith. I told that gentleman, I said, I will pray for you. The devil is a liar. Don't believe that nonsense. Here is an opportunity for your rising to help wipe the tears of your family. Hallelujah. There are many of you here who are victims of the realities of foundations and God wants to lift your family not just you oh Joseph the attack is not on you the attack is on the deliverer who will save Egypt Israel it is not about you Joseph one day you will become the second in command you will have access to preserving the destiny of a nation Moses it is not about you. Satan is too serious to fight individuals. He fights dreams. He fights prophetic programs. He fights mantles. Oh prophet, hear me. The battle you are going through has nothing to do with you. It is a mantle that you are carrying. An apostolic and a prophetic mantle. Satan was there when prophecy was spoken over you. Satan was there when declarations were made. He was not angels alone. He was there. He had the declarations. Listen. Did you ever ask why Satan kept moving through the scribes and the Pharisees to ask Jesus who he was? 
they met John the Baptist and said, are you that one? What was Satan looking for? He didn't say, why are you here? There, there was a person they were looking for. And John kept confusing them. Who are you? I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness, saying, repent, make straight his ways. And then Jesus comes. You know why Satan killed John? Because he knew the Jesus and he did not say it. When Jesus was finally ordained and commissioned, he ensured that like Jezebel wanted the head of Elijah, the head of John the Baptist went for it. I shared with you my visions. Years ago, I was praying one night. And then the roof, the ceiling of my room just disappeared. And I'm seeing this creature that is standing before me. A giant creature looking like a dinosaur. Having a tail that had its own life. That could be disconnected from the creature and still be alive. Bulgy eyes. One eye was looking like the head of a man. And he was looking with fierce anger and spoke fluently. So you think you can bring God's people into abundance. I have met demons. I have met spirits. It is not only angels I have met. I have met demons. I have met spirits. I can tell you one thing with the devil. He's determined. When he finds out that there is prophecy on your life. When he finds out that you're opening the door is the rising of many. Get ready. The king of Tyre, he will wait for you. Elijah, there are bands of prophets waiting to come and frustrate you. But thanks be to God, which causes us always to triumph. Thanks be to God. Hear me? The secret now. It's in Job 38 and verse 33. It says, Knowest thou the ordinances of heaven, and canst thou establish the dominion thereof in the earth? Do you know the principles by which the mysteries, by which the heaven regulates itself, and can you reproduce that reality in the earth? This is what Jesus meant when he said, Your kingdom come and your will be done. Capture the principles, the modus operandi of the spirit and reproduce it within your life, within your sphere. And you truly will begin to walk like a God upon the earth. Psalm 82 and verse 5, he says, They know not, neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course. Verse 6 says, I have said, ye are God and all of you, not some are children of the most high the next verse says but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of the princes i made up my mind that as far as it depends on me as far as it depends on me i will not only force those doors to open that everyone behind me it says i and the children that the lord has given me we are for signs and for wonders you are not the only one who came from a bad background. Find out where Jesus came from. Nathaniel said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? And Jesus did not say you are lying. Because the most popular Nazarene that they knew died in a very painful way. The man called Samson. That there was a spirit that followed great Nazarenes. Even though they were people who had a covenant with God. And would just destroy them at the prime of their life. Nathaniel said, don't waste your time following Jesus. There is something in his foundation. His success will not last. And Jesus sees such a man and says, an Israelite indeed, in whom there is no guile. In other words, from the sincerity of his heart, what he's saying is true. I know it is true that people who come from where you are from never rise beyond a certain threshold. It is true until your access to the mysteries of the kingdom rewrites that script. I know it is true that certain people never attain onto a level of wealth and abundance with a kingdom mindset. It looks like the only way you live is by begging all the days of your life. Anointed but you are a beggar. And so the spirit wants. 
but you can arise and rewrite certain things rewrite certain things rewrite certain things every decree can change let me tell you the truth every decree can change even when her man died the king had already stamped a decree that permitted the death of the jews so the pro the enemy had gone but the system was still going to cause their defeat and esther came and told the king you are a king you are the one who wrote the first one you can write another decree again we change decrees by writing another decree who wrote the decree that you will not rise i am also a king and a priest unto my god and i can take the advantage of that king priest dimension in partnership with the spirit and write that from this moment henceforth everybody rises that from this moment henceforth everybody rises that from this moment henceforth god is glorified in everybody connected to me where the word of a king is the bible says there is power hear me if the power from your royalty does not speak it means that your scepter of honor and authority has not been given to you or the consecration that ordains you as a king is not there or you have refused to use your authority to declare but hear me oh david when the oil comes and the scepter comes and the crown comes you are king 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 kings declare by speaking kings rewrite things he said my heart is indicting a good matter yeah i speak of excellent things that my tongue is the pen of a ready writer i can rewrite possibilities in my life and in the lives of others Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Shabala Sodavada Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Feel this place in the next one minute i'd like you to begin to pray seriously in the spirit go ahead and begin to generate energy in your spirit man 
Sharakata prakata belekete praskata pakatosh katia. Embrakata parandas kafrate kepeleketosh. Shabrakata belekete praska begetesh. Embrakata parakatos koto prendegete. Embrakas kapakatos koto prekata. Embrakata belekete praskata belekete askate begeta. Embrantos koto begete belekete bata. In the name of Jesus, overcome us by the blood of the Lamb. Shabrakata Lead us not into temptation. Deliver us from evil. The evil that comes when doors open. The evil that comes when mantles come. The evil that comes when increase comes. Someone pray. Shada belega de bela de bala da bos. Kapra kata belega de bas kada branda kata berekos kadiata. Krafa kata bala kata pras kada belega ta. Rakata banda pras kada belega de pras kada belega to shatariata. Enkra kata berega de berekos koto bala kato shata. Hallelujah. Just two prayer points and we're done for tonight. I'd like you to begin to invoke the mercy of God across every aspect of your life that it seems the devil is taking advantage of. Oh, by the mercy of God, the Lord rebuke you. I call forth the mercy of God. Someone go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Invoke the mercy of God. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, the precious blood. I plead the blood, the blood, eternal saving blood. I don't have to cry. Ah. Rise. Yes, I plead the blood, I plead the blood, I plead the blood. I plead the blood, I plead the blood, the precious blood. I plead the blood, the blood, eternal saving blood. I go. mouth and declare Satan the Lord rebuke you I come by the authority of the king and priest in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord rebuke you I invoke the power of Elohim I rebuke you over my life over my health someone pray the Lord Covenant of the God of David fights you in the name of Jesus. I call upon the holder of the key of David that opens a door that no man can shut and shut a door that no man can open. He has opened the door. No man can shut it. Go ahead and declare. He has opened the door. No man can shut it. Speak over your ministry. Speak over your family. Satan, thus far have you come. No further shall you go. The Lord is against you. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is against you.
Gentlemen, please hear me. Please hear me. Listen. Listen. Many of you will run sometimes this year and come and listen to this message again. Because the prophecy for open doors is not complete until there is a training to know how to become a person of stature. You need the door to remain open for those behind you to come. There are giants on every mountain. That is why you are a warrior. He said, I have fought a good fight. I have kept the race. You are not only a runner. When you are in the field, dressed like an athlete, but you are in the battleground, don't wear athletic clothes. You have to carry the regalia of a warrior. You are both a warrior, you are an athlete, and you are a keeper. Hallelujah. Hear me. For many of you under the sound of my voice here tonight and falling across the globe, the Spirit of God is depending on your consistency for the liberty of many people. Any laxity in your pursuit will not only cost you alone. The realm of the Spirit taught you to be your grandfather. He started on a good note, but eventually laxity and frustration. There was zeal, but no accurate knowledge of the precepts of the spirit. So he could not survive the viciousness. Then it came to your father. Some of them did their best as far as they could go. Now the baton has come upon you. You may be young, you may be the last, but by no means the least. The mantle is still on you. God is counting on you right now. Will you be the one to end this cycle and start a new one? He said, are you the one or should we look for another? Are you the one who has come now? Are you the prophet we have been waiting for? Or should we look for another? Are you the apostle that our grandfather prophesied that a day will come in this city? A young man will arise with fire and power. Are you the one or should we expect another? Who is yet to come? Are you the businessman that prophecy has come upon? That you will be the one through your resources to liberate nations. Hear me. The Bible says there remaineth a rest for the people of God. Any day your faith selects is the day you make your rest. It says let us therefore labor to enter that rest. And the way we labor is found in Jeremiah 6.16. It says to stand in the way. And then he says to see and ask for the old path. Wherein is a good way. When you find it, he said walk in it. And for sure you will enter your Sabbath. Please hear me. As we prepare to round up tonight. The spirit of the Lord is speaking to someone. I am still depending on you. I am still depending on you. I am still depending on you. Moses, do not prolong prophecy by 30 more years because of the laxity in your training. When the prophecy came to Abraham, it was 400 years. Match the prophecy with the speed of your training so that you do not add 30 more years and make God look like a liar. If you are slow, you will delay prophecy and time will be added and men will suffer. You must be up and doing at a cutting edge to match up with what I said. He said, I, Daniel, understood by books. He opened the book to see where it was written that the captivity of Israel in Babylon would come. And when he found the time, he postured himself in fasting and prayer for 21 days until Gabriel was sent from heaven to come and bring him word. And while he was coming, the prince of Persia the spiritual wickedness that resides in the heavenlies. He stopped him and he maintained in persistence an archangel Michael. He came and it prevailed not. 
and he had now come he said i am come to give you understanding he gave him understanding and he knew the times that the captivity of god's people would come to an end in this season we must master the art of reading the writings on the wall you must have the eyes of the spirit that when you see things written on the wall you must discern what the spirit is saying the bible says he that hath an ear let him hear what the spirit saith is it not in your bible that the spirit speaketh expressly the spirit speaketh expressly it says that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith and they shall give heed to seducing spirits and the doctrine of demons but the most important thing is that the spirit speaketh expressly we must obtain grace that our eyes be washed with eyes of and that our ears be attuned to the frequency of the spirit to know what god is saying part time past season let us walk after the order of the sons of Issachar the Bible says they are men that had an understanding of the times and they knew what Israel ought to do as a result their brethren were at their command there are names there are titles there are legends and tales of strength but only a Shua will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be no end. There are names, there are names, there are titles, there are legends and tales of strength. I stand by this prophetic and apostolic mantle and I declare over your life in the name of the resurrected Christ who gave gifts to men that every door that has stood close over you in the name of Jesus I come by the rod of a higher priesthood and I speak to that door Ephata be open Ephata be open Ephata be open in the name of Jesus it says and thou O Lord will teach my hands to war and my fingers to fight. I decree and declare in the name of Jesus, the strategy for victory that you have now received, obtain it and last through your open doors. Last through your open doors. Last through your open doors. No decline, no retrogression. In the name of Jesus Christ. You hear me? There are some of you that found certain treasures but they fell and they were missing the bible says the kingdom is like a man who had treasure but one fell the first thing he did was to light a candle and the second thing he did was to get a broom and with the candle and the broom he started searching i know it is somewhere i don't know exactly but with the candle that has been lit and the broom he started sweeping the Bible says that is the character of the kingdom. You never find things until by light and the assistance of the prophetic. Alas, master, for it was borrowed. He said, where fell it? And he said, here. Yeah. I want to speak to someone. Because you see, let me tell you, restoration resides within the office of the prophetic. Whether it is the wife of the Shunam a Shunamite woman having her son back to life, or the axe head falling or restoration to Samaria it is by a prophet that the Lord brings the nation of Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet they are preserved he said I have spoken to you in similitudes I have multiplied visions even by the prophets I decree and declare in the name that is above all names everything that has left you but not by God in the name that is above all names, I declare with accuracy and precision, let it return back to you. Let it return back to you. Opportunities, graces, let it return back to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Please hear me. 
The Bible says everyone that knocks, the door will open. I told you when you knock, it is because there is someone at the other side of the door. And it is possible that he can be manipulated like the man who slept with his children to say you are my friend but it's too late. I cannot open the door to give you what you want. It takes the favor of God coming upon a man to compel people to bend over backwards for your sake. And Exodus chapter 3 and verse 21 says, And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians, and it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. Esther chapter 2 and verse 15, Be part, and Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. Psalms 44 and verse 3, They got not the land in possession by their own sword, neither did their arms save them. 44 and verse 3, it says, But thou thy right hand, it says, Because thou showed a favor towards them. The favor of God is not about money. The favor of God gives you access to the hearts of men. The heaven, even the heaven of heavens belong to the Lord. But hear me, the earth has he given to the sons of men. If God says yes and men say no, yes remains in the realm of the spirit. It is the spirit and the bride that says come. Not the spirit alone. The system of operation within the cosmos will take the partnership of the spirit and a willing bride. If the spirit says Jesus come and Mary refuses to give her womb, he would have to look for another person again. She had to say be it unto me. Be it unto me. Luke chapter 1 and verse 45. It says, be it unto me. Blessed is she that believes, he told her. It says, for there shall be a performance of the things that were spoken unto her from the Lord. Mary, on hearing that mandate, she said, be it unto me, according to your word. And that happened. For many of you, the spirit has been saying, come. The spirit has said, increase. The spirit has said, open doors. The spirit has said, fresh mantles. But the bride that will stand in partnership with the spirit to echo what prayer is an investment are we together now yes i'm saying this because if you want to see greater works ladies and gentlemen i can tell you there is a responsibility component to it impartations are wonderful but our generation is getting drunk with impartation and is driving them away from the responsibility of building a personal altar of prayer I have taught you about altars that an altar is a system of authorization you get up and you see that you were in a dream healing people revealing the glory of god don't just write it down and say a powerful dream it will never come to pass until you get to pray apostle i went to bed oh, and i saw people giving me money that is a possibility that god wants to make happen but without birthing it in the place of prayer no so you go to pray everything god shows me that is consistent with his will my next responsibility is to agree with him like mary be it unto me according to your word then the part two of it is not to irresponsibly sit down and say after all apostle is praying for me no that is not an effective christian way I will pray for you as a responsibility but you must obtain grace and go down on your knees and shut your door and say enough is enough lord you showed me this you said by now my family should have risen i may not know what direction to go but i begin to pray and you are there repeat it again the next day repeat it the next day repeat it the next day you hear that everybody's getting sick in your family don't sit down and say i know one day go better hold on to the horns of the altar and pray do you believe what i'm teaching you the spirit of death comes to open the door of your house and you fold your arms i've been sensing that there is a spirit of death in this house that discernment is a waste if you don't drive it in the place of prayer are we together there are many believers when things happen to you and people around you you say but i saw it what did you do about it i saw it too i saw this thing the realm of the spirit was telling you that there is something about to happen in the earth realm you can allow or disallow and carelessness and laziness made you to just ignore until evil happened 
make up your mind ladies and gentlemen man of God don't allow the devil come and destroy your ministry I just sense that something is wrong it looks like there is an attack around my church what are you doing about it you are just folding your arms you don't know how determined Satan is when believers become lazy 30 days without prayer with understanding gave him room he wanted 30 days to wreak havoc over Babylon hallelujah The only thing worse than praying and miss is not being prayerful at all. It's even better to pray and make the mistake God can correct you. Ladies and gentlemen, please do not lie to yourself and say, me, I'm not a prayer warrior. There's nothing called the gift of prayer in the Bible. Go and read it. Among the gift of the Spirit, prayer is not there. If you ever think prayer is convenient, you lie to yourself. Prayer is like taking your bath prayer is like eating there are times you are lazy and you almost don't want to smell water but you know that you need it for your health and sometimes you have to drag yourself in the morning be sleepy while you are praying you just start praying and a miracle happens but one thing i can tell you about prayer is prayer can become a habit empowered by the spirit of grace and supplication are we learning you want to see the glory of god revealed you must learn to pray not just as a group so that people will see you praying and say this man is powerful hannah was not interested in all of that corporate prayer is powerful but corporate prayer is what you bring from your secret place prayer is one area you cannot lie about if you are not you can be hypocritic about other things but not prayer because the kind of energy that you bring in the open must be built in the secret you can't fake that one i can tell you hallelujah and you see let me tell you something about being prayerful there is a presence and power that accompanies a life of consistent prayer such that you obtain grace you can stand before a prayerless person and discern weakness in the spirit you can know that this person is sincere but you can discern powerlessness and weakness that if the devil should strike at this person he's gone except immune by the ministry of intercessors he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray. Koinonia, hear me. Just believing somebody is praying for you alone is good but not all profitable. Every family must become a family of prayer. Everybody must become a person of prayer. Wake up in the night. Discipline yourself. You may not have the grace to pray 10 hours, 5 hours. You will not even have the time to do that every day. Let me tell you the truth. But one thing you can do is you can build a system of consistency around your life. It's better for me to spend 2 hours praying every night and recreate my destiny than to sleep for that two hours and suffer for 30 years it's a foolish bargain to allow slumber of one or two hours please don't feel sad i'm not being hard on you without a reason i'm just challenging and stretching you listen to me if you are here and you are prayerless receive deliverance this night in the name of jesus christ receive deliverance this night and begin to practice it from this night you wake up there are strategies that can enhance prayer one of it is an atmosphere of worship an atmosphere of worship can prime your passion for prayer are we together if you need to use your alarm clock why not it's a blessing don't say i must be i, I must wake up by the spirit you are not being serious wake up by any means you can wake up doesn't matter the, most of us just live around this i know the holy ghost has a way of waking me by one o'clock you tiredness you can sleep till morning even jesus slept until men woke him up are we together so don't don't make a fool of your christian experience and say if the holy ghost wants me to wake up he has a way of waking me up no discipline yourself wisdom is profitable to direct Hello, him, Madonai. Hello, him, Madonai. Hello, him, Madonai. Hello, him, Madonai. Some 
sometimes I can be sitting down as a leader and I can just have visions of tragedies that the devil wants to bring over people or see certain things that God wants to put in the life of people that becomes part of my prayer project believe me if I tell you I'm praying for you I want you to believe it I may forget sometimes because I'm human but as much as I can if you see me writing and saying I'm praying for you know that I'm praying for you hallelujah yes and while some of you are snoring away valuable prophetic speakings on your life there are people who are praying Shaka Koski Ataba Randy Gabriatosia. I've seen in the spirit that favor is supposed to rest upon Koinonia. Lord, I give you no rest until you establish Jerusalem as a praise and you are praying. While you are praying, on Tuesday, prayer department takes it like that. Every department is really a prayer department. It's just that there is one dedicated to the ministry of prayer. Hallelujah. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true lamb of god we worship you imagine a worship song like this waking you up in the night you lie down on the bed and you just program it you imagine what you are hearing waking you up in the night worship him why not you can have a one hour session of worship like this and put it online help people you don't have to be the one to sing yourself and while it is playing there's something that worship does to the spirit of man it can take away laziness tiredness can dry away in one moment pray in the spirit for one minute whilst you are there he pras kata parenda ke parusia ta rakate pras kata parenda ke fres kata belegata greater works greater works across the nations of the earth greater works birthed and enforced in the place of prayer birthed and enforced in the place of prayer birthed and enforced in the place of prayer Go ahead and pray. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. Lamb of God, we worship you. Pray. Lamb of God, we worship you. Lamb of God, we worship you. Take a minute and fold all seasons in your life. Fold all seasons in your life. That everything that is inconsistent with God's blueprint in my life, I hold on to the horns of the altar and I decree, let it be done in this earth as it is in the heavens. Koinonia pray, Zaria pray, a global family pray. Emmanuel, all the world is calling your name. Emmanuel, when you come again. Emmanuel, and the church will see your holy face. Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Hear me, in the name of Jesus, are you learning? Listen, your first response to anything you see or hear in the spirit or any prompting at all, whether by the Holy Spirit 
or another kind of spirit is to pray prayer filters all revelations driving away that which is inconsistent with the will of God and establishing that which is consistent with the will of God you are a businessman I know that your transaction is where your reward comes from but your discernment does not come from transactions your discernment comes from prayer thou shall hear a voice saying this is the way walk ye in it you can transact well but in a wrong location if you are Isaac and you get out of Egypt and don't and and sow in another place you will not reap anything even though you have the ability to sow hallelujah listen to me let me challenge everybody here and I'm speaking to our global family I have a responsibility over you I want you to find a day this week that even if it's for two three hours except otherwise if God can give you grace please I give you the permission organize a family prayer for yourself and use one two hours settle certain things in your life are you getting what I'm saying now if you're a father here you are you are married you're a family man I I put that responsibility on you don't lazily say my wife is the one who can pray in the name of Jesus you have grace now spearhead that move gather your children John where are you Stephanie where are you in the name of Jesus we are praying tomorrow and if God grants you grace you can declare fast the children can fast to 12 they will not die don't pamper them into spiritual weakness if the same children are sick they will not eat for three days and they don't die hallelujah please listen this is an assignment to the koinonia global family you can use one day it doesn't have to be all the day but use one day if you don't have a family look for somebody to agree with you and say in the name of Jesus Christ write a list of the things you want to deal with and if you do not know pray Lord what am I doing on earth I'm tired of going around escorting men across their destinies reveal to me you said call on to me and I will answer I will show you great and mighty things you can pray your personal requests and then pray for the program of God hallelujah bring before the throne that dream you saw you saw your mother dying you saw your father dying you saw ministry failing are we together now you saw your business failing don't sit down and let it happen then you say i saw it your seeing does not profit you your hearing does not profit you until you know how to allow or disallow things in prayer for as long as i am alive my life will operate based on the will of god in partnership with my terms no devil who is not part of my life has the authority to put his hand in the affairs of my life or if you see it in a vision it will remain there prayer will hang it there for my lifetime it will not bring it down my assignment is to select the events in the spirit that are consistent with the will of God and to allow them to be made manifest hallelujah let me give you one more prayer father place upon me the grace to pray go ahead and pray place upon me you are here pray for your husband you are here pray for your wife you are here pray for your children take serious this prayer point Zaria, are you praying koinonia global pray and as many who are connecting please pray for the grace the grace to pray the discipline to pray with understanding fervent effectual fervent effectual you are a man of God here pray twice the days that are coming will not allow spiritual laziness you really need capacity in the spirit
Aleluya. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. It's the Lord God Almighty. It's the Lord God Almighty. My life is full of your glory. My life is full of your glory. Hallelujah. I'm hearing something in my spirit and the Lord is saying I should tell you. There are two people here God is speaking to you and he's saying restore your prayer life you were once a person of great prayer but you veered off because of carelessness and God is saying I'm still waiting for you at the place of prayer I'm still waiting for you I'm still waiting for you there are songs you used to sing because you're a man of prayer a woman of prayer you've even forgotten them you don't even know them again Go back and carry your old notebook. The notebooks that you used to write those songs. Go back again. There are scriptures you used to know because you always use them in the place of prayer. Now you have forgotten them. Go back and carry those old notebooks again and begin to pray. Pray with understanding. Pray for victory. Pray to establish your enthronement. Pray to be a candidate for greater works. Please be seated. Spare me a few more minutes. Hallelujah. There is a quickening that is happening to your spirit man. To be quickened means to be made alive. Awake thou that sleepest. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord, for in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence you, Lord. Hallelujah. I raised that song and I was seeing a woman in my vision. You are the only one out of all your family people who is saved. Your husband is not even saved and you have two children let me tell you commit yourself to interceding don't say god cannot save your husband you don't know who he is amen god cannot is because you don't know who he is hallelujah god can visit your husband visit your children have you not heard the testimonies of people here it doesn't matter what the limitation is one of the ways you build your faith is in the place of prayer but ye beloved it says building up yourselves in your most holy faith praying 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 in the holy ghost let me give you a kind advice never take a step over anything you have not prayed about no matter how sure you are even if it is five minutes prayer with understanding one decision that is filtered through the place of prayer can save you 10 years 20 years perhaps a lifetime of misery hallelujah the force of prayer let me give you one more and then we're done for part one there's someone you are watching me from lagos another person is watching me from calabar i just saw a mighty impartation that is happening to you 
for one you're a man and a woman sitting in front of your phone you play something like you are recording and you are following me there is there is light and fire and grace that is resting upon you in the name of Jesus and the Lord is showing me overflow one in Zaria there is someone overflow one in Zaria the power of God is coming upon you and the Lord is saying he's restoring visions the grace for visions overflow one in Zaria the power of God is coming upon you and the Lord is saying he's restoring visions in the name of Jesus I decree and declare let there be a mighty restoration a mighty restoration in the name of Jesus can I tell you something look at me one moment one idea there are many ideas by the grace of God that run this ministry that came in the place of prayer the blueprint for the next season of this ministry came when God moved us to Abuja I told you already it was in the place of prayer that God gave me certain instructions and obeying that instruction if you do not know what to do in your life start by praying in the place of prayer direction comes you confirm that direction with scripture and the witness of the spirit and then obtain grace to walk in keeping with the direction you have received you have found your way out of any situation with prayer comes direction with direction will come confirmation just because you received it in a place of prayer does not mean to execute it because all things must pass through the lens of scripture satan can also appear as an angel of light and sometimes even in the midst of prayer your mind can speak to you and because of the atmosphere with which you received it from you can think is god until you open it is written you will find out that as zealous and as powerful as that prompting was it was not really god don't be ashamed because you are growing the devil can wait for people in that atmosphere of prayer he will slip in a lot of things that are not the will of God and you will say yes Lord to everything and then ignore the written word this is what makes your prayer effectual effectual means you submit it to scripture fervent means your heart is involved in it you can pray and come out with error from the place of prayer because you did not exalt the word of God above whatever you received in the place of prayer it was while jesus prayed that satan came and said turn this stone into bread if you were jesus after fasting for 40 days and hearing that every voice you hear you will assume is the holy spirit and you say speak lord i'm listening and you will turn a stone to bread and rubbish a great ministry that is about to start but jesus said it is written he never said i prayed he said it is written there are many people who go to pray and in the place of prayer they hear all kinds of things both what God is saying and what flesh is saying and what demons are saying because your ears your capacity to pick signals from the spirit is heightened and the realm of the spirit is a noisy realm there is as it were many voices and none of them is without signification the voice of the Holy Spirit is not the only voice you will hear it takes a lot of training death alignment for you to filter other voices and to learn how God speaks to you and talking about the way God speaks I've done a teaching on the voice of God. I want you to look for it online and I hope that we'll have the opportunity to teach again. We have a series along the lines of hearing God. There are many people who claim to hear God, but at the end of it, you will find out that the performance that follows what they heard does not birth the glory of God. That must be self because your heart also has a voice. It says, say not in your heart. That means your heart speaks and demons speak. Satan will not speak to you and say, I am Satan, rise up. No. Satan will tilt towards the area of your passion and your hunger. If you have been fasting, he will say, turn this stone into bread. He will come and fashion the weapon against you based on your need. And sometimes you're lost. Say amen. amen. So we need to pray. But we need to submit our prayer to the word of God. There are many people today, their conviction has been destroyed because of wrong things they had 
in the place of prayer they will tell you I prayed and God told me that in the place of prayer I saw myself collecting your car give me my thing and they are sincere because that's what they were manipulated to hear but once you take that towards your will you will know that the only person who acts like that is Satan Jesus is never called a thief it is the thief that comes to steal to kill and to destroy God will never give you the ministry of stealing killing and destruction are we together yes father I like the job that this man is doing and even though I do not have it can you for God's sake even though this is person is a church member or is my tribes person can you remove the person out of this job and give me that may look like a, a, a it's a sincere prayer but it's a foolish one and God is merciful because before God rates you he will look at your level of knowledge perhaps you have been wrongly mentored to imagine that anything you want kick whatever is standing in front of it there are rules to engage I told you that when you say let God arise and all his enemies the people to be scattered are his enemies not your enemies his enemy is anybody who perpetually becomes an interruption to the manifestation of his will and that can include you even if you are Jonah you can be a genuine serious man of God and yet become God's enemy there are many of you from the very first day you went to pray certain things had left heaven are we together now you pray you don't pray one day and get the result of 10 years. You are joking. Prayer is an investment. Are we together now? Yes. I'm saying this because if you want to see greater works, ladies and gentlemen, I can tell you there is a responsibility component to it. Impartations are wonderful, but our generation is getting drunk with impartation and is driving them away from the responsibility of building a personal altar of prayer. I have taught you about altars, that an altar is a system of authorization. You get up and you see that you were in a dream healing people revealing the glory of God don't just write it down and say a powerful dream it will never come to pass until you get to pray apostle I went to bed oh, and I saw people giving me money that is a possibility that God wants to make happen but without birthing it in the place of prayer no so you go to pray everything God shows me that is consistent with his will my next responsibility is to agree with him like Mary be it unto me according to your word then the part two of it is not to irresponsibly sit down and say after all apostle is praying for me no that is not an effective Christian way I will pray for you as a responsibility but you must obtain grace and go down on your knees and shut your door and say enough is enough Lord you showed me this you said by now my family should have risen I may not know what direction to go but I begin to pray and you are there repeat it again the next day repeat it the next day repeat it the next day you hear that everybody is getting sick in your family don't sit down and say I know one day go better hold on to the horns of the altar and pray do you believe what I'm teaching you? The spirit of death comes to open the door of your house and you fold your arms. I've been sensing that there is a spirit of death in this house. That discernment is a waste if you don't drive it in the place of prayer. Are we together? There are many believers when things happen to you and people around you, you say, but I saw it. What did you do about it? I saw you too. I saw this thing. The realm of the spirit was telling you that there is something about to happen in the earth realm. You can allow or disallow and carelessness and laziness made you to just ignore until evil happened. Make up your mind ladies and gentlemen. Man of God, don't allow the devil come and destroy your ministry. I just sense that something is wrong it looks like there is an attack around my church what are you doing about it you are just folding your arms you don't know how determined Satan is 
when believers become lazy 30 days without prayer with understanding gave him room he wanted 30 days to wreak havoc over babylon hallelujah the only thing worse than praying and miss is not being prayerful at all it's even better to pray and make the mistake god can correct you ladies and gentlemen please do not lie to yourself and say me i'm not a prayer warrior there's nothing called the gift of prayer in the bible go and read it among the gift of the spirit prayer is not there if you ever think prayer is convenient you lie to yourself prayer is like taking your bath prayer is like eating there are times you are lazy and you almost don't want to smell water but you know that you need it for your health and sometimes you have to drag yourself in the morning be sleepy while you are praying you just start praying and a miracle happens but one thing i can tell you about prayer is prayer can become a habit empowered by the spirit of grace and supplication are we learning you want to see the glory of god revealed you must learn to pray not just as a group so that people will see you praying and say this man is powerful hannah was not interested in all of that corporate prayer is powerful but corporate prayer is what you bring from your secret place prayer is one area you cannot lie about if you are not you can be hypocritic about other things but not prayer because the kind of energy that you bring in the open must be built in the secret you can't fake that one i can tell you hallelujah and you see let me tell you something about being prayerful there is a presence and power that accompanies a life of consistent prayer such that you obtain grace you can stand before a prayerless person and discern weakness in the spirit you can know that this person is sincere but you can discern powerlessness and weakness that if the devil should strike at this person he's gone except immune by the ministry of intercessors he spake a parable to the end that men ought always to pray. Koinonia, hear me. Just believing somebody is praying for you alone is good but not all profitable. Every family must become a family of prayer. Everybody must become a person of prayer. Wake up in the night. Discipline yourself. You may not have the grace to pray 10 hours, 5 hours. You will not even have the time to do that every day. Let me tell you the truth. But one thing you can do is you can build a system of consistency around your life. It's better for me to spend 2 hours praying every night and recreate my destiny than to sleep for that two hours and suffer for 30 years it's a foolish bargain to allow slumber of one or two hours please don't feel sad i'm not being hard on you without a reason i'm just challenging and stretching you listen to me if you are here and you are prayerless receive deliverance this night in the name of jesus christ receive deliverance this night and begin to practice it from this night you wake up there are strategies that can enhance prayer one of it is an atmosphere of worship an atmosphere of worship can prime your passion for prayer are we together if you need to use your alarm clock why not it's a blessing don't say i must be i, I must wake up by the spirit you are not being serious wake up by any means you can wake up doesn't matter if, the, most of us just live around this i know the holy ghost has a way of waking me by one o'clock you tiredness you can sleep till morning even jesus slept until men woke him up are we together so don't don't make a fool of your christian experience and say if the holy ghost wants me to wake up he has a way of waking me up no discipline yourself wisdom is profitable to direct Hello, him, Madonna. Hello, him, Madonna. Hello, him, Madonna. Hello, him, Madonna. Sometimes. I can be sitting down as a leader and I can just have visions of tragedies that the devil wants to bring over people 
or see certain things that God wants to put in the life of people that becomes part of my prayer project believe me if I tell you I'm praying for you I want you to believe it I may forget sometimes because I'm human but as much as I can if you see me writing and saying I'm praying for you know that I'm praying for you hallelujah yes and while some of you are snoring away valuable prophetic speakings on your life there are people who are praying Randy Gabriatosia, I've seen in the spirit that favor is supposed to rest upon Koinonia. Lord, I give you no rest until you establish Jerusalem as a praise. And you are praying. While you are praying, on Tuesday, prayer department takes it like that. Every department is really a prayer department. It's just that there is one dedicated to the ministry of prayer. Hallelujah. King of kings, Lord of lords. Faithful and true Lamb of God We worship you Imagine a worship song like this Waking you up in the night Shaba Katosiata You lie down on the bed And you just program it You imagine what you are hearing Waking you up in the night Worship him, why not? You can have a one hour session Of worship like this And put it online Help people you don't have to be the one to sing yourself and while it is playing there's something that worship does to the spirit of man it can take away laziness tiredness can dry away in one moment pray in the spirit for one minute whilst you're there he pras kata parenda ke parusiata rakate pras kata parenda ke fres kata belekata greater works greater works across the nations of the earth greater works birthed and enforced in the place of prayer birthed and enforced in the place of prayer birthed and enforced in the place of prayer Go ahead and pray. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. King of kings, Lord of lords, faithful and true, Lamb of God, we worship you. Lamb of God, we worship you. Pray. Lamb of God, we worship you. Lamb of God, we worship you. Take a minute and fold all seasons in your life. Fold all seasons in your life. That everything that is inconsistent with God's blueprint in my life, I hold on to the horns of the altar and I decree, let it be done in this earth as it is in the heavens. Koinonia pray, Zaria pray, a global family pray. Emmanuel, all the world is calling your name. Emmanuel, when you come again. Emmanuel, and the church will see your holy face. Emmanuel. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Hear me in the name of Jesus. Are you learning? Listen. Your first response to anything you see or hear in the spirit or any prompting at all, whether by the Holy Spirit or another kind of spirit, is to pray. Prayer filters all revelations. 
driving away that which is inconsistent with the will of God and establishing that which is consistent with the will of God you are a businessman I know that your transaction is where your reward comes from but your discernment does not come from transactions your discernment comes from prayer thou shall hear a voice saying this is the way walk ye in it you can transact well but in a wrong location if you are Isaac and you get out of Egypt and don't and and sow in another place you will not reap anything even though you have the ability to sow hallelujah listen to me let me challenge everybody here and I'm speaking to our global family I have a responsibility over you I want you to find a day this week that even if it's for two three hours except otherwise if God can give you grace please I give you the permission organize a family prayer for yourself and use one two hours settle certain things in your life are you getting what I'm saying now if you're a father here you are you are married you're a family man I I put that responsibility on you don't lazily say my wife is the one who can pray in the name of Jesus you have grace now spearhead that move gather your children John where are you Stephanie where are you in the name of Jesus we are praying tomorrow and if God grants you grace you can declare fast the children can fast to 12 they will not die don't pamper them into spiritual weakness if the same children are sick they will not eat for three days and they don't die hallelujah please listen this is an assignment to the koinonia global family you can use one day it doesn't have to be all the day but use one day if you don't have a family look for somebody to agree with you and say in the name of jesus christ write a list of the things you want to deal with and if you do not know pray lord what am i doing on earth i'm tired of going around escorting men across their destinies reveal to me you said call on to me and i will answer i will show you great and mighty things you can pray your personal requests and then pray for the program of god hallelujah bring before the throne that dream you saw you saw your mother dying you saw your father dying you saw ministry failing are we together now you saw your business failing don't sit down and let it happen then you say i saw it your seeing does not profit you your hearing does not profit you until you know how to allow or disallow things in prayer for as long as i am alive my life will operate based on the will of god in partnership with my terms no devil who is not part of my life has the authority to put his hand in the affairs of my life or if you see it in a vision it will remain there prayer will hang it there for my lifetime it will not bring it down my assignment is to select the events in the spirit that are consistent with the will of god and to allow them to be made manifest hallelujah let me give you one more prayer father place upon me the grace to pray go ahead and pray place upon me you are here pray for your husband you are here pray for your wife you are here pray for your children take serious this prayer point zari are you praying koinonia global pray and as many who are connecting please pray for the grace the grace to pray the discipline to pray with understanding fervent effectual fervent effectual you are a man of god here pray twice the days that are coming will not allow spiritual laziness you really need capacity in the spirit Hallelujah. 
Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. It's the Lord God Almighty. It's the Lord God Almighty. My life is full of your glory. My life is full of your glory. Hallelujah. I'm hearing something in my spirit and the Lord is saying I should tell you. There are two people here God is speaking to you. And he's saying restore your prayer life. You were once a person of great prayer. But you veered off because of carelessness. And God is saying I'm still waiting for you. At the place of prayer. I'm still waiting for you. I'm still waiting for you. There are songs you used to sing. Because you are a man of prayer. A woman of prayer. You've even forgotten them. You don't even know them again. Go back and carry your old notebook. The notebooks that you used to write those songs. Go back again. There are scriptures you used to know because you always use them in the place of prayer. Now you have forgotten them. Go back and carry those old notebooks again and begin to pray. Pray with understanding. Pray for victory. Pray to establish your enthronement. Pray to be a candidate for greater works. Please be seated. Spare me a few more minutes. Halash koma la sobrande gebele kusiata. Habarash sobra digesha. Lebarush kale barantos kabres. Rata gebele gatosiata. There is a quickening that is happening to your spirit man. To be quickened means to be made alive. Awake, thou that sleepest. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. For in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord. I will reverence you, Lord, for in your presence there is life everlasting. I will reverence you, Lord. Hallelujah. I raised that song and I was seeing a woman in my vision. You are the only one out of all your family people who is saved. Your husband is not even saved. And you have two children let me tell you commit yourself to interceding don't say god cannot save your husband you don't know who he is Amen. god cannot is because you don't know who he is hallelujah god can visit your husband visit your children have you not heard the testimonies of people here it doesn't matter what the limitation is one of the ways you build your faith is in the place of prayer but ye beloved it says building up yourselves in your most holy faith praying 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 in the holy ghost let me give you a kind advice never take a step over anything you have not prayed about no matter how sure you are even if it is five minutes prayer with understanding one decision that is filtered through the place of prayer can save you 10 years 20 years perhaps a lifetime of misery hallelujah the force of prayer let me give you one more and then we are done for part one there's someone you are watching me from lagos another person is watching me from calabar i just saw a mighty impartation that is happening to you for one you're a man and a woman sitting in front of your phone you play something like you are recording and you are following me 
there is there is light and fire and grace that is resting upon you in the name of Jesus and the Lord is showing me overflow one in Zaria there is someone overflow one in Zaria the power of God is coming upon you and the Lord is saying he's restoring visions the grace for visions overflow one in Zaria the power of God is coming upon you and the Lord is saying he's restoring visions in the name of Jesus I decree and declare let there be a mighty restoration a mighty restoration in the name of Jesus can I tell you something look at me one moment one idea there are many ideas by the grace of God that run this ministry that came in the place of prayer the blueprint for the next season of this ministry came when God moved us to Abuja I told you already it was in the place of prayer that God gave me certain instructions and obeying that instruction if you do not know what to do in your life start by praying in the place of prayer direction comes you confirm that direction with scripture and the witness of the spirit and then obtain grace to walk in keeping with the direction you have received you have found your way out of any situation with prayer comes direction with direction will come confirmation just because you received it in a place of prayer does not mean to execute it because all things must pass through the lens of scripture satan can also appear as an angel of light and sometimes even in the midst of prayer your mind can speak to you and because of the atmosphere with which you received it from you can think is god until you open it is written you will find out that as zealous and as powerful as that prompting was it was not really god don't be ashamed because you are growing the devil can wait for people in that atmosphere of prayer he will sleep in a lot of things that are not the will of god and you will say yes lord to everything and then ignore the written word this is what makes your prayer effectual effectual means you submit it to scripture fervent means your heart is involved in it you can pray and come out with error from the place of prayer because you did not exalt the word of god above whatever you received in the place of prayer it was while jesus prayed that satan came and said turn this stone into bread if you were jesus after fasting for 40 days and hearing that every voice you hear you will assume is the holy spirit and you say speak lord i'm listening and you will turn a stone to bread and rubbish a great ministry that is about to start but jesus said it is written he never said i prayed he said it is written there are many people who go to pray and in the place of prayer they hear all kinds of things both what God is saying and what flesh is saying and what demons are saying because your ears your capacity to pick signals from the spirit is heightened and the realm of the spirit is a noisy realm there is as it were many voices and none of them is without signification the voice of the Holy Spirit is not the only voice you will hear it takes a lot of training death alignment for you to filter other voices and to learn how God speaks to you and talking about the way God speaks I've done a teaching on the voice of God. I want you to look for it online and I hope that we'll have the opportunity to teach next. As I pray, the powers of darkness tying lives and families will give way. Listen, I tell you, there will be a move of blood and fire the Lord showed me why blood to open up the gates that has been closed why fire to burn everything that has not been planted are you hearing me lift your hands mighty Jesus father there are families that are here tonight as a matter of life and death Lord your people are not gathered at unto a man they have come for a visitation yokes of sicknesses are killing families there are many people who have been tied down a 
And Lord, we understand that the enemy has done this. But tonight, we come in by the blood of Jesus. And Lord, as I make decrees, inside and outside, unto the spirit that confirmed the words of your servants, I pray that there be an exodus from captivity. At the count of seven, hear me, I'd like you to shout the name, the name of Jesus at the top of your voice. Many of you will fall into visions and trances at once. You will see liberations happening in your family. Ushers, get ready. Let me help those under the anointing outside. Please shout. One, two, three, four, five, six. Get ready now. Seven. I plead the blood. I plead the blood. I plead the blood. Bring them out. I plead the blood. Yokes be broken. I plead the blood. Let the blood speak. Let the blood speak. Shekekeka. Shekeka. Marekoto. Let the blood speak. The blood opens every gate. Every gate. Paka pa bara da bara da 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 da. Sekete te 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 te. Eke reke te ba. Masoto seka. Rabaka te leke te ba. Mambre po shote ni ba 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 ba. Eya ya 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 ya. Sekete te 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 te. Shaba ba 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 da 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 ba. Shaka da 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 da. Shaka ta pa ka la ba la la la. Shake it, 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 it. Lift your hands again. At the count of three, listen. I want you to shout, I am free. At the count of three, the moment you do that, there will be a release of fire. Fire. Get ready at the count of three. One, two, Three. Shaka parada, ma poto sosoba, rekete te kababa, o salaba da kata la bagata, rekete te ba. The fire of the Holy Ghost, the fire of the Holy Ghost. Shake te 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 te. I command powers. Let God's people go. I command yokes. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Be broken. Chains. Chains. Be broken by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Sekete te 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 te
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at this lady. See how many people are trying to hold her. Look at how many people are trying to hold one person. See how many people are trying to hold one person. Come out now. Out in the name of Jesus. Out. Now. You are going by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Leave her now. Now. Out. Come out. Let her be. Just leave her. Leave her on the floor. Out. Come out now. Be free from yokes. Be free. You and your loved ones. Let her go. Devil of darkness. Leave her now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Your time is up. Come out. Come out right now. Release this family. Release them now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Your time is up. The blood speaks. In the name of Jesus. Of him now, come out, come out of him by the fire of the Holy Ghost, release him and all that belong to him. The blood speaks now. I open up this gate now. Be free in the name of Jesus. are the powers the horns that frustrates the agenda of the kingdom see you must not come out here as it's happening to them realize it's happening to you hallelujah now anyone with any kind of growth or anything in your body or you're standing in for someone lift up your hands whether a lump a growth Please lift your hands because it's time for it to go. Turn her. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at me. The name of Jesus, look at me. Right now, 
this is a this is a mighty i'm seeing seven horns on this lady's head seven horns and it's not just her seven horns this is a territorial spirit that has sat on her family but by the blood of jesus christ i adjure you by the blood of jesus i see a big gate closed i open it now in the spirit many of you may not understand what is happening i open it i see a gate that is closed over that family i open it now all the chains on it let fire fall on them one of the horn terminal disease the other one delay the other one joblessness the other one lack of marriage i set it on fire as i see it in the spirit now now as it's happening to her it happens to you in the name of jesus I mean those just those with any growths please lift your hands now i'll start ministering to the sick right now we'll just start with them and we're going to take testimonies hallelujah before pastor jake comes up to minister i'm going to pray for you sick people lift your hands if you are tired of that growth just growths of all sorts you are tired if you are not tired you can put down your hand whether it's a lump, whether it's whatever it is. Hallelujah. Now, as I pray for you, the Lord is showing me two people. The power of God will come upon them. There are movements on your body. Movements. 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 And the Lord is showing me a mighty being something that looks like an alligator this is what i'm seeing the lord is just showing it to me two of you by the power of the holy ghost wherever these two are lord let your fire right now fall on those two the power of god will come mightily upon those two people whether you are inside or outside right now the power of god will come and the fire will fall mightily. Please, when that happens, let's have the two people out. It's falling right now. It's falling right now. Movements in your body. Movements in your body. Say there's one more person left that demonic movement the fire of God locates you wherever you are right now in the name of Jesus bring her come out come out of her now out that devil of darkness this is a big I'm seeing like a beast. It moves all around this woman's body. It's already forming pores, literal pores around her breast region. A devil of darkness. Because this is supposed to cause stroke, partial paralysis. It will eat up everything. They will cut one breast and then all through the body. But right now, your time is up. Please take note the second person. The power of God is still going to fall on you. The Lord showed me two people. Right now in the name of Jesus, I release you. I release you. I release you. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. This is a projection of darkness. The Lord shows me. Father, by your mercy, 
let the blood speak in the name of Jesus Christ I set you free let the swelling go down let the pain dry up be made whole in the name of Jesus outside lift your hands the one person is outside just those outside outside lift your hands I like you to shout the name Jesus the power of God will come upon that person at the count of three one two three that fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus while they are getting the person those with long scrotes lift your hands now thank you Jesus as I pray for you start checking yourself we'll take some instant testimonies already the Lord has showed me one lady a lump on the left side of your breast it just disappeared right now just disappeared right now lift your hands right now I command every lump every growth go in the name of Jesus go in the name of Jesus go in the name of Jesus I command you to shrink every growth in any part of your body right now I command you to shrink in the name of Jesus I command you to shrink in the name of Jesus hallelujah hallelujah now begin to check yourself who is Musa 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 Please quickly if I'm if I call your case, hurry up, don't waste time. We're still expecting the person outside. The power of God will come upon the person. Just when that happens, let the person come. Musa, I'm hearing the name Musa. Who has the name Musa? Hallelujah. Please, when I mention your case or any you are Musa, what are you waiting for? stand up there is witchcraft in your family and the Lord is going to use you as a mighty deliverer hallelujah Janet 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 The meaning of your name in your language means thank you. The meaning of your name means thank you. Thank you. You're a guy. Thank you. Is a brother, tall brother. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Now listen. There is a lady. This is a very interesting case I want to call. The Lord is ministering to me. Listen. Listen. Not only do you see snakes in your dreams, you see them physically around you. This has happened in a long time. Who is that person? Please. You see snakes physically. Physically. This happens physically. It's your time of deliverance now. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Please. The person is around. The person is here. Come out quickly. Please. Save our time. We have a lot to do. Who is that person? You are the one. Physically, come, come up. There's another person. You, come, come, two of them. Come now, hurry up. Look at me. You see physical? Yes. Since when? No. No mic. Huh? Eh? That was last year and we didn't be here too. Where do you see the snakes? In my dreams. At times, maybe when I go out, I see them on the way. You see them physically. What of you? I see them in my dreams. Are you married? Do you know why? This is what we must destroy this night. You, your deliverance will start now. Praise God. Come on, 
out of her now out by the power of the Holy Ghost now the snake you are seeing is a man that turns to a snake for you right now I, I, I just saw him in the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus Christ leave her now by the fire of the Holy Ghost out come out now out in the name of Jesus Christ come out out tonight is your night of liberty this lady see you because I am seeing and while I stood the Lord was ministering to me and the Lord was telling me that they have made a projection that this lady will never marry any man that comes around this lady this is what destroys it this lady you are seeing nobody likes her for whatever reason nobody can know right now leave her in the name of Jesus come out now the snake you are seeing leave her right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost hallelujah hallelujah you brought the picture two pictures listen listen wait let me describe it before you come out you brought two pictures two pictures of your family members two different pictures you came and stood who is the person two pictures I mean one one two pictures you are here with two pictures of your family members who is that person the Lord is ministering to me because there is I need to pray on one of them you brought two pictures of your family members please when we have that person come up what are these people here for oh I called you snake I, I left her because we are going to deal with this Janet where is Janet who is Janet three of you are Janet you are from Kogi state who is from Kogi there is somebody from Kogi Janet Kogi state is it Kogi I think Kogi is please the lord is ministering to me let's save time because i don't want you to tie down somebody's i want god to grant us grace to minister your name is janet your mom's name is janet you are from Kogi state come because i see they want to kill your mother lift your hands that your mom's name is janet i will pray for you so that she will be free where, what's wrong with her we need to pray for her huh? because I'm first seeing sickness and then I'm seeing a ghastly motor accident we must pray for her the power of God will come upon you and it will touch her thank you Jesus Lord by your mercy right now let your power set him free my brother I break the curse of witchcraft in your family by the power of the Holy Ghost Okay, hold my hands. Let me pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. My dear, let me pray for you. This thing called bad luck must live your life now. In the name of Jesus Christ, be free. Totally free. I'm interested in your case. Let me pray for the rest. Which of your family members is here? If you are in our family come and stand here god is going to visit the whole family now our family if you are not part of our family don't come here please if you are part of our family just come and stand here quickly please let's save time sister look at me salvation has come to your life today this your crying is over are you hearing me because this I must pray this lady's family she has suffered you will just see a lady standing like this that God will pick a lady out because this is I'm seeing hardship yes sir where are you from? from 
Mary. What's your father doing now? Nothing. What's your mother doing? Nothing. Look at this. How did I know? Do I know her? Because this is a cause of hardship. There's nothing that they do that will prosper. But tonight, in the name that is above all names, salvation comes to your family. Realize that as it's happening for one person, it's happening to you too. In the name of the Lord Jesus, hold my hands. Do you know what I want you to do? Shout, hold my hands. Shout Jesus at the top of your voice. Can you do that? Jesus! Family, come. There is power in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray. Two things the Lord wants me to pray. Number one, your mother will not be a widow. Are you hearing me? We are going to pray. We are going to break that power. Number two, there is a cause of delay in this family that will be lifted. Now, is that true? Am I making sense? There is a cause of delay. Hold your hands together. Oh, you are an usher. When I pray for you, go and continue with your work. Praise God. There is a cause of delay. Father, in the name of Jesus, you ask me to call this family out. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I release them from this devilish shackle of delay. There is a power of God upon my hands. I'm going to lay it upon you. As it comes upon you, it will terminate this delay. Randa Bresha Katabala Kuso Prondo Supreme. Delay be gone, you especially. Delay. I cause delay. Delay in school, delay in everything. I cause it in the name of Jesus. And forgetfulness. In the name of Jesus Christ. Come. You. Where are you from? Kaduna. You are from Kaduna. I need to pray for you. Hmm? You are not feeling very fine. Hold my hands. This is a devilish thing. Thank you, Jesus. Release her right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Stephanie, 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 Stephanie. Do we have anybody like that? Stephanie. That's the person. Bring the person in. I mean, that was the other one person. Remember our two people. Break every chain. Hallelujah. We are going to pray for miracle jobs this night before the end of the program. Hallelujah. Enough is enough. Praise God. We are going to pray for jobs. Two ladies, you and you, two of you talking, come out. Come. Yes, God would locate you. What makes you think God will forget about you? Run and come. Come and take your breakthrough. There is power in the name of Jesus. Come and join them before you do your work. See, let me tell you something. While she stood here, she was praying and saying that the Lord will locate her. Is that, is that what you were saying? Because I saw like a flash of light and I saw it written. And this was what she was thinking. And the Lord said, let her join and pray first. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, visit her family. Visit her family. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Hold your hands together. Two friends. Yuku came and we are just talking, looking through the window and doing a lot of things. God is going to visit you. Where is your mother? Go and tell her 
Huh? That by next month, a big miracle is coming for her. Hmm? You know, when God tells me words like this, I'm very careful before you go and write an article on me. Now people can write all kinds of articles. Prediction incorrect. Three exclamation. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hold my hands. Let me pray for two. Hold. God is going to visit you. Look at me. You will be great ladies. I want to pray for you. The hand of God will come mightily upon you. Thank you, Father. Use them for your glory right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Let their families be mighty. Let their lives be mighty. I separate you in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Lay your hands on him. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Let him experience your power and your grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You are sick in your body. You came here specifically for a miracle. For sickness. Let me see your hands. Please let me see your hands quickly. So that we'll know. Okay. Please come out and line up quickly. Let's minister to the sick now. Baba, come. I will start with you. Please celebrate our daddy. Thank you for coming. If you are outside, please come quickly. Just line up quickly. No. Welfare. Please. Please. Don't come out wondering, will God heal me? Will God touch me? Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. Pastor Williams, Pastor Jakes, can we quickly minister to them? Please, as hands come, worship him. Just lead us. Powerful songs of worship. Hallelujah. As we pray for them, those of you who are seated, just keep praying in tongues. We'll pray for them quickly and then we'll minister. I want God to touch everybody this night. Hallelujah. I want God to touch everybody. I pray that God will give us time. Hallelujah. If there is time, by the grace of God, we'll lay hands on everybody. Everybody. Hallelujah. We're just praying that we'll be able to do this quickly. Hallelujah. Worship team. Savior, he can move the mountains. Thank you, Father. Let your power move as we pray for your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead. As we pray for you, please go back to your seat. Pastor Jason. Okay. As we pray for you, just, you don't need to tell us what is wrong with you. As we pray for you, just trust the power of God to touch you. Jesus conquered the grave. Savior, He can move the mountain. My God, my God is mighty to save. He's mighty to save. my blood sister this thing has made me angry this is my blood sister blood of my blood bone of my bones that devil is a bastard this night 
this is my own blood sister same father same mother right now in the mighty name of jesus let my sister this is my mother's baby bone of her bone flesh of her flesh in the mighty name of jesus christ every spirit of sickness by the fire of the holy ghost out of her forever in the mighty name of jesus christ no sickness type for go in the mighty name of jesus christ if i do not fall sick my sister will not fall sick in the name of jesus christ perfection everything wrong with you be healed now hallelujah sorry i took it personal the thing pain me hallelujah praise the lord let's continue he hallelujah please if you are holding a picture just lift it up and we'll pray on it lift it up and we'll pray on it praise god if you are holding someone's picture just lift it up we'll have the time when we'll pray on pictures hallelujah As you go back, make sure you check yourself. Miracles are happening. It's raining. What's wrong with you? It's raining. It's raining. <laughs> Feel the wind of the spirit. Now the heart beat of them. Let us hear. Let it roll. Let it roll. Open the Lord. Let it roll.
Hallelujah. Now listen. I want to specifically, you can come and stand. It doesn't mean you have it. We want to cancel HIV now. There's nothing to feel. Hallelujah. Whether for yourself or for your loved one, doesn't mean you have HIV. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please don't be impulsive. HIV is a killer disease. <laughs> It come out. It's better to come out than to die. That devil is a liar. Bring her up here. Bring her up. Just leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Just leave her. Leave her. Leave her. Just leave her. HIV. How many of you know HIV is a killer disease? How many of you know that HIV is from the pit of hell? Hallelujah. And how many of you know that HIV is reversible? This is what we are going to do right now. Worship team, powerfully, that song, miracles everywhere. Hallelujah. As we pray for HIV, please believe it. Believe it. For yourself and for any other person that you are standing for. As you are praying right now, some of you, when we pray for you, you need to call them. And tell them this is it.
Jesus a shout of praise. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Did you bring your prayer request? Do you have your prayer request? Please bring them out and pass it. Hallelujah. Ushers coordinate them quickly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now, I want you to know mighty miracles are happening in this place. Mighty, mighty miracles. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mighty miracles are happening. Now, this is what will happen. Pastor Jakes will come up, just, just um, minister for a few minutes. While he's doing that, I'll just take a few minutes break. When I come up, we're going to pray on the request. But we are going to take a few testimonies right now. Hallelujah. Now, please check yourself inside and outside. If you see that there is a notable healing, notable miracle, especially for those of you who were delivered. Hallelujah. Notable something left you, a chain broke. God, open your eyes to see something. How do we do it now? Uh, just go to the back. Go to the back. Hallelujah. When Pastor Jakes is done, he will meet you there. Hallelujah. Meanwhile, pass your prayer request quickly. Hallelujah. Praise God. Listen to me. While Apostle was ministering to those, the women with the burying cases. Now listen to me. One of you, three of you, this is what I saw, kind of babies you were carrying. Hallelujah. I saw the clothes the babies were wrapped in. They call it, is it turquoise blue? Is it turquoise blue? One was white, then the other was pink. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We did not discuss this before I came. Earlier on, while speaking to you, and I told you a woman will come giving a testimony of a baby. Are you following? Please Pay attention to what the Lord is doing tonight. Hallelujah. First, because God will confirm his word and God will confirm the prophetic declarations of his servants. Hallelujah. I'll pray for some people right now. Please lift up your hands. The Lord communicated to me the intention of Satan is to take away somebody's life during NYSE. Are you following Just three days into NYSE. Hallelujah. And I began to weep. And I'll pray right now and the Lord will roll that thing away. Are you following what I'm saying? Please listen to me. I do not know who you are, but the Lord will locate you. Are you following? Whether it's your family member or whatever, that the hand of God will locate you. The devil is a bastard. Are you following what I'm saying? Satan is a bastard. How can somebody, God, the parents will train you to a point where you are supposed to bring blessing and suddenly the plan of Satan is to take away that life. Because people have projected from the village. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Father, we thank you. Please lift up your hands. Thank you, blessed Lord. (laughs) Thank you, blessed Father. Thank you, blessed Lord. Mang Rikoto Panibong Rafi Ketale Brasso Pratelia Leon Jimbem Brong Rate Kapota Virata Labara Baba Baba. The fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you. That intention from the pit of hell, the fire of God will locate you. The fire of God will locate you right now. In the name of Jesus, let the angels of God, <laughs> uh-huh. let the angels of God locate you. Ushers, please take note. Mark Repong, Shiketa Viron, Vendel, Yaraba Bandaya, Rian Noroba Baba Bela Gala Bosana, Riata Pong, Rate Keteria, Bakitong, Shiketa Viratose, Pila Kada. 
I rebuke that hand of death. We roll away that spirit of death. That projection from the kingdom of darkness. That projection from the kingdom of darkness. Please still lift up your hands. The Lord will break chains. The Bible says, whatsoever He does, prospereth. The, works, the Lord is to bless the works of our hands. Chains tying people's hands down. The sword of the Spirit will break through. And the Lord will release financial blessings. Please listen to me. Because some of you from now, please pay attention to what I'm saying. Checks will be written. Are you following? Financial blessings will come. I'm telling you, I know what I'm saying. Financial blessings will come to you. There are people that your family have been suffering. They've been trying. Your father has been working. But his, their hands are chained. Their hands are chained. And the fire of God will go through. Some of you will literally feel the fire of God in your hands. There are chains around your hands that will be broken right now. Thank you, blessed Lord. Please just lift up your hands. Let the sword of God's spirit go. Let chains be broken right now. Let chains be broken. Even outside. Let chains be broken right now in the name of Jesus. Let the chains be broken right this moment. Let chains be broken in the name of Jesus. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains, chains. Chains holding your businesses down. Your father's prosperity, your family's prosperity, the works of your hands. Let the blessings of God come upon it right now. In the name of Jesus. Barrio Rapidon Rapidon Zepegila Lingdon Rapigata Chakraton Rebalovske Baliro Koto Barada Bakate Gosu Barada Lebosha Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Jesus. Please, those of you with chest conditions, the Lord wants to touch you now. Are you following? Those of you with chest conditions, thank you, Lord. Please just lay your hands on your chest. Chest conditions around your heart, your lungs. Please just lay your hands. I sense the Lord touching you there right now. Just lay your hands on your chest. Blessed Lord. Touch them right now in the name of Jesus. Some of you will feel a warmth. A warmth around your chest region. The Lord will be touching you right now. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Lord. Let healing come to you right now. You will feel a release. You sense a release right now in the name of Jesus. I rebuke that chest condition. Let it go. Let it go in the name of Jesus. Let it go right now in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. That devil holding your chest, I command a release right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, blessed Lord. Thank you, blessed Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Just before I hand the mic over, the Lord communicates to me about these people. The Lord wants to grant you wings of ego. I hear what I'm saying? Wings of ego. It's for some people, it's not everybody I'm talking to. Wings of, of, of ego. The Bible is the amount of with wings as ego to come as grace in the spirit wings of ego you are so high you are so high in the spirit <laughs> please lift up your hand I'm telling you the Lord will 
Can't you wings of eagle? Thank you, blessed Lord. Holy Spirit, let the breath of God rest upon them in the name of Jesus. Let the breath of God rest upon them. Let the breath of God rest upon them in the name of Jesus. Let the breath of God right now as I speak in the name of Jesus for those people, blessed one, ha! Blessed one for those people, my God. Let the hand of God come upon you. Rando Koshi Pratila. Let the hand of God come upon you. The hand of God comes upon you. The hand of God comes upon you. The hand of God comes upon you. Or shall help me find those people. The hand of God comes upon you. Just bring them to the right here. The hand of God comes upon you. The hand of God, of God comes upon you. The hand of God comes upon you. The hand of God comes upon you. Wings to mount up. Wings to mount up. Wings to mount up. Just bring them to the right here. Bring them to the right. Wings to mount up. Wings as eagles to mount up. Wings. Wings. Wings in the spirit. Wings in the spirit. There's a guy and a lady outside the Lord will touch you now. There's a guy and a lady outside the Lord will touch you right now. Rate koto parika bo liberosi ilaraba hasu pirati landa bakia ko shikre subra nende man shakila bo jale. I dare you not recover. Are you hearing? You will not recover because you begin to have experiences, dangerous experiences. But it all simply feels brand new, practical, and brand new. It has been so simple, it has been so hard. Help me find that guy and that lady outside. I spoke about. Bring your super tila, dando rosique to brand new kata, biraranando sing radiata. Baby, this lady was participating powerfully. Hallelujah! Praise God! Now we are going to pray. I hope we have all the requests. Who has not written? Please, one minute quickly. Just write quickly and come and drop it. God answers prayers in this place. Mighty prayers. There's still a lot to do. God is blessing people. There are impartations going on. Don't wait until you come out. Hallelujah. All right, everybody stand. This is a very prophetic moment. Please stand. Online, I hope we are connecting. Prayer, all the prayer requests that have been submitted online. is left we want to pray on the request right now hallelujah 
Every request in this place is turned to testimonies. Hallelujah. Please, those, even as we pray, there will be impartations. So those who are here, as much as possible, um, just relax so that you don't get up and then you collapse on the way. Hallelujah. Do we have any more prayer requests? Okay, let's give one more minute quickly. I see people rushing with their requests. Please, for all our miracle services, we pray on requests. This was an instruction that God gave us. We cannot meet every need. Those who are online, connect with us. Mighty testimonies have come up. Hallelujah. We've had barren women have triplets. We've had genotypes changed. We've had all kinds of unbelievable testimonies. Let's see how this episode will be right now. Praise God. Pastor, Pastor Williams. Please celebrate him as he comes. Pastor, James, we are going to pray. Pastor Williams is going to lead us through this prophetic session. All I need you to do is stretch your hands and say amen when it's time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let the spirit of God hover over this request to hover by our Satalaba. We can't teach the brand big Alaba to shit. We push it and we do shit. Let there be miracles that are the bracket. Let there be breakthrough back. Let the impossible become possible. We can't pass a shikiba. Miracle jobs in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Let doors open. Let doors open. By the blood of Jesus, let doors open. By the blood of Jesus, let doors open. By the blood of Jesus, let there be possibility. Let the impossible become possible. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of the Lord Jesus, in the name of the Lord Jesus, let the burning woman conceive and rejoice. In the name of the Lord Jesus, let there be creativity. In the name of the Lord Jesus, like a by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the finger of the Most High, by your power, oh God, by the greatness of that power, lay the enemies from me by the blood of Jesus, let us from me by the blood of Jesus, let us from me by the blood of Jesus, let doors open for your people, let doors open, even those online, let doors open in the name of Jesus, let them Miracles, miracles, testimonies, miracles, testimonies, miracles. Let it happen now. Miracles, let it be testimonies in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, let that which is impossible with men become possible now. Now, now, by the power of the Holy Ghost. Thank you very God. Bless be the name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Thank you, Father. Every request here we declare in the name of Jesus, it is turned into testimonies now. It is turned into testimonies now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see miracles everywhere right now before we enter the prophetic session. Go. Miracles everywhere Miracles everywhere Miracles everywhere Right now Right now Miracles Miracles everywhere I see miracles Miracles everywhere We need miracles Miracles everywhere Right now Right now Right now 
Hallelujah. The Lord is going to do mighty things right now in this place. It's another dimension of the mighty things that He'll be doing. Hallelujah. Please, brothers and sisters, listen. God will not bring you to this place to waste your time. I told you all you need to do is to believe. All you need to do is to believe. Hallelujah. We are going to begin to decree. And the power of God will move in another dimension in this place. Please, I'd like you to believe. I want you to shout amen. I want you to believe. It's time for breakthrough. It's time for the limitations that tie people maritally, job-wise. It's time for it to bow. It's time for yokes to be destroyed. And we'll also pray that there will be impartation. Some of you came to take fresh grace. Some of you have exhausted certain spiritual levels. Some doors have just refused to open. You have fasted, you have prayed. We have come tonight by the grace of God to supply grace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let me tell you something. Prophetic words are very, very powerful. Hallelujah. It's not about speaking. It's about creating. Hallelujah. The prophetic word of God does not just reveal your problem. You already know what the problem is. But creating solution. Hallelujah. We're going to pray. Oh, that you will believe, brothers and sisters. That you will believe. That you will believe. Last miracle service, a lady had two pressing requests. One of it was to get a life partner. For her, it was becoming a serious issue. The second was to get a job. I sent the leaders the text. The very next day, after Friday like this, the next day, Somebody that has been playing around has not been serious today. He's here tomorrow. Is there the very next day? This brother just came and said, "Look, I'm ready to be serious. We are going to get married." And that, listen, listen, don't clap yet. The, that same Saturday, she got a text that on the next Wednesday she should come for an interview. That one is not just a miracle. That's what we call breakthrough. Hallelujah. Pastor Jakes began to speak about finances. We are going to pray for that. And for other issues. Are you ready to receive? For your loved ones. Lift up your hands. It does wonders in our midst. I started seeing this since Tuesday. I saw a big padlock, bigger than this building, and it was closed. And I don't assume explanations when the Lord has not told me what it is. Hallelujah. Even till I came here, God did not tell me anything about it. And when I sat down, while past, I mean, while I was standing there, Pastor Jakes was ministering, and the Holy Spirit told me. To open the doors of prison to them that are bound. To open the doors of prison to them that are bound. Thank you, Jesus. Now in the name of Jesus Every tight down marital destiny Every lady that is due for marriage Every brother that is due for marriage And nothing is happening This night I command that door be open 
be open now. Doors of marriage be open now. I call forth your life partner into your life in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Receive it in Jesus' name. Take a da 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 da. Reke talakata. Receive it now. Every marital chain over your life, I open it and I break that chain now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. For all those trusting God for job. You have applied and applied. You have done everything you know to do. Right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and I declare. Doors of jobs. Scattered around this nation and beyond. I compel you. In the name that is above all names. Open now. Open now. Open now. Federal government jobs, oil company jobs, bank jobs, in the name of Jesus, I release it to your life, I release it to your life, where you do not have help us, may my God step in for you, may God step in for you, may God step in for you, receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Every family here that has begun a building project and has not been able to complete it for whatever reason, right now, I compel that project to be completed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every power that holds that project I challenge you in the name that is above all names. Let God's people finish what they have started in the name of Jesus. Every academic issue in this place. Whether admission issue, whether graduation issue, whether whatever issue, service issue, in the name that is above all names, I pray right now for every academic darkness, let there be light now, 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 now. For those that the devil has tied down and has said you will not finish, whether it's your undergraduate, whether your masters, whether your PhD, whatever, I command the doors of of graduation to be open for you now. Whatever cause needs to be waived, we waive it now. We waive it now. We waive it now. Whoever has vowed that you will not graduate this night, we compel them to let you go. And for those who have been trusting God for service, you are finished. The name will come out, your name will not be there. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray right now. May God move in a way no man can explain. And may you be mobilized in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray for every family that has, has tried to move forward. There are families that are tied down, not as individuals, as a family. It will keep working for others, but when it gets to your turn, it stops. Tonight, in the name that is above all names, whatever has not been working in your family, we move it now in the name of Jesus.
whatever mountain we challenge it. Rekata, sosote, aparekata, masote, bariata. I challenge it. I challenge it. I challenge that mountain in the name of Jesus. Say kabalata kabalata she. Not top protosho balada ba. Hallelujah. Every spirit that is responsible for fight and quarrels in the house. Some of you, your parents are under yokes you cannot understand. It's not their fault, but tonight, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every power upon your family members that will not bring peace at home, I cause it to its root in the name of Jesus. I cause it to its root in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Mighty things are happening in this place. Hallelujah. I want to pray and break the curse of poverty. There are some families, it doesn't matter how much they give you. Something will eat it up. You buy a car to have accident. You build a house, rain will wash it. Right now I pray that any covenant of poverty that was entered in Rakata Bosota Repo Shotala on behalf of your family, I set it on fire now. I set it on fire now. Now, 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 now. Hallelujah. Listen, I'm still going to pray that the power of God is going to move upon some people in a mighty way. Because this poverty in families must be broken. People have gotten into prostitution because of it. There are people who think you are lazy. They do not know that there are forces behind. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Lift your hands. I will first pray for you, 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 before your family. Forget about your family for one minute. And pray for yourself. If you don't need it, just put down your hands. But if you are tired at where you are, and you are saying, Lord, I'm not too young to be blessed. Lift your hands. When I count three, shout the name of Jesus, the power of God. Man, it will fall like fire. That cause, my God, I pray that that yoke of poverty will be lifted. Are you ready now? One, two, three. We cause it. We cause it. We cause it. We cause it. Poverty dies now, now, now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I want to pray a very dangerous prayer for you right now. Remember the teaching I did on activating breakthroughs. The ministry of destiny help us hear me there are many of you where you are now you have the gift you have the skill you just need those who need what you have you have it you just need somebody hear me the bible says and the king sent for joseph and they brought him out of his dungeon hallelujah many of you after this meeting i tell you on that god they will send for you. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. Whoever across this globe called earth has been destined to locate you and honor the grace upon your life, wherever they are, except God is not God in this place. I pray tonight by the power of the Holy Ghost, I call them into your life. Receive their ministry. Receive their ministry. Receive their ministry. Best 
destiny help us wherever you are in the name of the Lord Jesus wherever you are from this night through phone calls emails supernatural coincidences connect to them connect to them connect to them hallelujah hallelujah I want to pray against the plague of death 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 lift your hands for you and your loved ones hear me the bible says with long life it didn't say will I give you it said will I satisfy you you are supposed to be satisfied with it hallelujah and no devil should cut short your life I want to pray for you now every plague of death over any life here or over any family by the power of the blood be lifted now in the name of Jesus 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 Hallelujah. Listen. Do you know why the psalmist prayed a very powerful prayer? He said, You are my glory and the lifter up of my head. That means something lifted it down. So that those that will see it and bless it cannot see it. I pray for you. Whatever has put your head down, so that nobody will bless you this night. According to the prayer of the psalmist, lay your hands on your head. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray whatever has put you down, I prophesy, arise, 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 shake take it, my blood arise. Hallelujah. Keep your hands up, please. Hallelujah. Listen. The Bible says, It shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water, which yield its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. He said, Whatsoever he does, prospers. Lift those hands. Every curse that the devil wants to put upon your hands, there are some of you, Anything that touches your hand fails. No matter what it is from tonight, that yoke comes to an end in the name of Jesus. That yoke comes to an end in the name of Jesus. That yoke comes to an end in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray against habits. Look at me. There are people dying of all kinds of habits. From all kinds of lust to all kinds of things. Are you getting what I'm saying? This is what gives Satan access into the lives of many people. Doesn't matter how they pray for you. Doesn't matter how they, they deliver you. You will find yourself. Paul said that the things that I want to do. I do not find myself doing them. He said, and the things that I don't want to do, that's what I find myself doing it. He said, with my spirit, I serve the Lord. But in my body, I see another law working in my members. And he said, oh wretched man that I am, who shall deliver me from this body of death? I want to pray for you. Take this prayer very seriously. Because many of us, after all the prayers and the deliverances, we keep opening doors. I want to pray for you. It takes grace. It's not about struggle. Listen. Say, look at me. If you want to use willpower to say, I want to force myself not to sleep with this sister, you are joking. Except you are not a man that God created. Many people have tried to use force this is where grace comes in 
You see, grace is a powerful ability of the spirit. It makes you extraordinary. That's why some people don't believe that there are people who can walk in holiness. They say it's impossible. Did you know that wicked spirits are behind these promptings? You see a matured man who go and carry a little girl like this one, this baby. Huh? The baby that he can give birth to how many times? And then still want to molest. It's not normal, brothers and sisters. Or pornography. Once you see free internet, your body is shaking. No, it's not normal. Either the victory of Jesus Christ is a lie or there is something wrong. We want to settle that issue tonight. Lift your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, every fleshly desire that although you love God, you are seeing another love, whatever power that sponsors this operation of lust and immorality, I curse you to your root in the name of Jesus. I curse you to your root in the name of Jesus. I curse you to your root in the name of Jesus. I release you from every kind of habit you have been praying about. Be free now. Be free now. Be free now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says, And Jesus grew in wisdom, in stature, and in favor with God and men. There are many of us, there is nothing like favor in your life. When you hear people talk about favor, you just keep clapping for them. But the sincere truth is that you don't have that testimony. Somebody can come and meet you. Come. Somebody can meet you and say, take me to Sister A's house. He will escort them. They will go and bring Sister A and leave you. It's not so. Favor is the sign that the presence of God is with you. And if you truly have the presence of God, something, a signature, somebody should just like you and bless you. Lift your hands. Let me pray for you. If you have not been shouting amen, this is a place to shout and amen and receive. I pray, let the oil of favor, may it mantle your life now. In the name of Jesus. 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 Favor. 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 I'm going to pray that prayer one more time. Many of you do not know that one day of favor can end some wicked struggles in your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Favor. Somebody called a man of God and told him, he says, sir, for the rest of your life, I want to be giving you allowance for food forever. What kind of, what kind of thing is that? 